Hello there everyone in the chat today and welcome to a new playthrough in the Divergences of Darkness fan fork mod, also known as Rework. I will be playing as Plantaginia for a new campaign, as promised, right here on the 26th of August, as planned, as outlined. I always meet my deadlines on Light Paradox. And if there's a, you know, if I know that I'm not able to meet a deadline, I don't make it in the first place, so I don't get people's expectations and then shatter them. And, you know, for any ongoing certain Bavaria series, I say right from the start in episode one in the intro that the episodes will take longer for various reasons. I know it's still hard for people to adjust, but I told you from day one and I'm not making any false promises. But anyway, welcome. There's a lot to talk about. So I've given us time for a long intro. I've started the stream at half past five instead of six. But I fully anticipate that gameplay, like unpausing the game, will not actually start until six on the hour. I want to do a nice long intro, chatting, saying hello to chat after my little break that I had for just over a week there. I think it's um, two Mondays ago that I streamed last where I finished off my campaign as Aragon, which is very interesting, and very good, the Roman Empire LARP, all that. And we finished the campaign. So, hello Prussian Blue, Keyless, oh no it's late here, Cheating Champ, Kudos, welcome to you all, and welcome to everyone else. Let's get my face cam. This is Arcadia, North America, in Divergences of the Darkness Rework, and I will go into a lot more detail when we get in the game and all that, as to what's going on here. To your left on the screen you can see a loading screen rework of this mod and we actually talked about this in my first stream in Aragon and also I put it in the video that I edited out of that but since we're actually playing Plantagenia of course I'm putting it here again front and centre. Uh, Spot I only have two weeks left in a civilised country. Well, enjoy them. Yeah, enjoy them. So... Yeah, here we are. I can't wait to play this. Plantagenia has a lot of interesting lore, LARP and flavour decisions and events in this mod. And I don't want any, I just want to make it clear from the start again, I don't want spoilers. I only want things spoiled if people know the event chains and whatnot. I only want things to be quote unquote spoiled if I ask or for certain acceptable things that don't spoil too much of the whole plot. Because the way I want to approach a playthrough in a mod like this is not to look at the flowcharts of the event chains and min-max everything and go, okay, well, I need to do that. I'll take that event, take that event, take that event and plan everything. I want to enjoy it like an unfolding story, like a, a film or a TV series, as it sort of is like session to session and episode to episode. I want to enjoy a playthrough. I want to LARP. I want to genuinely think about the potential ramifications of each event and I want to think of, uh, you know, as we see what the event decisions are, we can sort of make a choice. I, I think, you know, judging from just common sense, there's going to be choices as to the, you know, slavery. Well, that's the big issue here <laughs> and that could get my VODs demonetized, but that's Plantagenia, the slave state right here. So I assume there's going to be big decisions to make about that institution of slavery in this country going forward and we'll see what happens. I don't have a plan. I don't know what kind of route I'm going to take. I don't know if I want to try and assimilate the natives and the African population here or, you know, treat them badly or maybe there's some benefits to going either way. I don't know. We're going to figure it out and look and see what those green and red numbers are on each event. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Hello, uh, Vape Nation, everyone. Hello. Invade Venezuela. Oil, my friend. Oil spawns in Texas. Don't need to do that. Now let's get... Hello, Tentacled Desk Chan. Hello. I'm not baiting everyone in with the American Bloodbath Dvorak uh, New World Symphony here. The actual American Bloodbath series, which I think you can link here. Yeah, look, you can, there's a link to it in the chat if you haven't watched that. I mean, who hasn't watched that at this point? I'm not making any cheap throwbacks to that. This is different, but I'm still playing the same country. Um, 
This isn't me making a throwback to the American bloodbath. I'm genuinely interested in the flavour and warp that this uh, mod is going to have for this country. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We played Aragon and that was a great campaign. It might have dragged on a little bit longer than I wanted because we had to do some stuff in the late game. What's that dark spot inside Plantagenia? Oh, it's funny you should ask. That's one of the interesting things about this country, and one of the few things that makes it actually different from how Plantagenia appears in the multiplayer versions that we're used to. Thank you, uh, Prussian Blue, for the 24... Two years! Two years of subbing. Yeah, thank you, Luminite and Vape Nation. Just... Uh, I appreciate the warnings, but... No spoilers as to exactly what's ahead. Will we bet? I don't know what we'll bet on yet. So, as things come up, we'll make our channel point predictions as we go along. I'm going into it blind. Actually, I, I tell a lie there. I did actually look at them initially. I did play Plantagenia and unpause for like a, a few weeks to see exactly the opening stuff. But I didn't read any of it. But I, I'm basically going in blind here. Okay, so that thing is the Protector Asalagi, which is the Cherokee semi-autonomous reservation inside Plantagenia here. It's a puppet for the Cherokee or the Tsalagi, same word I guess. Uh, uh, Tsalagi must be the word for Cherokee in their own language, which has been uh, bastardized into English, incorrectly pronounced as Cherokee, but that's what we call them. Which is how languages and different names for other cultures develop over time anyway. So anyway, will you do Arcadia? I, I don't know. I'm just telling, I've already told you a million times. I'm going in blind, don't have a plan. We're going to take things organically and see what happens. So, you can't ask me questions like that, because I don't know the answer. It's the Reno country. Can you just press the play button already? Can... Come on! Listen to, what I'm been... Listen to what I'm saying. I said, and I'm on the record as saying, only about 10 minutes ago, if, if that, maybe even 7 minutes ago, that there's going to be a long intro here, and I'm going to actually unpause the game on the hour at 6 o'clock my time, so calm down. All right, because the way I like to do things in these single player streams is to take them slowly and talk. And I'm not here to sweatily rush through the game on speed five, okay? We're here to have fun and take it slowly. If the playthrough is so good and if I have time to edit, then maybe you'll get a fast paced edited version later. But I doubt that because I need to focus on the Bavaria series. And when will it? When will it the six your time? Well, think about it, right? Um, no matter where you are in the world, it's all right, Dukisa. It's all right. Tupac in Albania. Hello, welcome to the streams. Hope you enjoy. Um, when I say on the hour at six, you might be in various different time zones, but whatever time zone you're in, it's currently 39 minutes past your hour, whatever it is, whether it's five or 10, one, for example. So, in 20 minutes time, it'll hit a new hour. For me, that's six. And, uh, okay, I mean, let's move on from that tangent. Explaining how time works. Uh, so. Twenty minutes, let's go. The football thing still applies to this stream, by the way. I've still got the tag, and I've still got the football alert. And I think there's football going on right now as we speak. Um, are any of your teams playing? Anyway. Time, what is it really? Yeah, let's get on to that. Chat always asks, when is next Bavaria episode, but never how is next Bavaria episode. They'll find out how the next Bavaria episode is when it comes out, and they can judge how it is, whether it's good or bad. Right, okay. So, what I'm going to do now... I'm actually going to give in to the uh, rushes. I'm going to give in to the people clamoring for me to actually start playing. I'm going to hit the play button. But, here's the catch. I'm going to leave it paused for a while longer. Yeah, it's good to be back. Good to be back, though. Uh, welcome back, everyone. So, I'm going to... Should I leave this the loading screen artwork up? Because, of course, we already did this in the session one of Aragon. But look at the guy. Second from the right there. Who's that? Question mark? Yeah. Is Plantagenia less or more racist than Confederate States of America? Good question. We might find that out through the event chains. This is a French-speaking country. Or uh, 
an Anglois French dialect speaking country or something? Is it more or less racist? I don't know. Um, it's probably more so because it's already, it only encapsulates the south. It doesn't have a north to, you know, have a, a, it doesn't have a northern or a federal government to try and prevent them doing certain things. They're, they can go all out, basically. So arguably, maybe even more. But they're probably by default equally. So, I mean, maybe the, there's a, probably some lore to the country that I haven't read that probably explains some stuff, but... XX Prussian Blooks gifted a tier 1 sub to Twackamus. Thank you, Prussian Blue, very much for gifting a sub. Um, Mr. Misty's there in the chat mentioning a, a, an ad for a Star Wars program coming up. I'm not interested in any of those, but I presume you got what is known as a pre roll ad. When you click on the stream and you get an ad, or more than one ad, when you first click on my stream. Now, I can talk about how I've approached adverts on my Twitch. You know in detail but basically i don't run ads during the stream at all anymore because they, they give me fuck they're, they're useless they give no income they're absolutely terrible so i don't even bother but that means that people do get pre-roll ads when they click on the stream if i run an ad bake in the middle of the stream that actually turns off pre-roll ad, pre ads for everyone for the next 20 minutes uh but i don't know i'd rather i'd rather people just Go with the pre-roll ads. I, I, if I, if I could turn pre-roll ads off as well, I would. I don't know. They're, they're there, but you can get rid of them by subbing. So if you sub with your primes exclamation mark prime, or get a normal sub, or are lucky enough to be gifted a sub by some of the the big gifters on the channel, you won't get that annoying pre-roll advert, and you'll get access to many great emotes in the chat. Thank you. Taggy McShaggy, thank you so much for the new tier one sub. We've got one. What's the Spud official NFL team? American? Are you asking me for a team that I support? Because I, off the off the top of my head, I couldn't name a single American sporting team. This is real life in the USA. I couldn't name a single American sporting team for any sport right now. I couldn't. You have a bunch of different nouns. Just say the Vikings. Yeah, but does it does it count to just start spouting off random nouns? Vikings, warriors, fucking pioneers. Like, are they all teams? They're probably teams somewhere. I don't know. Is it fair to do that? I think in order to for it to actually be like knowledge, you should name the city that they're associated with, right? You're just naming random nouns for all I know. At least say the uh, the the Jacksonville Jaguars. Or wherever they're from. Where are the Celt the Celtics or the Celtics from? Right, let's turn off the uh, thingy. Right, we're almost about to play. We're almost about to play. I'm doing my usual thing where we go off on tangents, often related to sports. But it's an interesting cultural difference, actually, how teams in the United States have... A cool name, uh, a noun, a historical thing. Whereas football teams in the UK, which is our biggest sport basically, don't really do that. They have, there's a lot of, uh, we do have a lot of teams that have a name, but they're kind of innocuous names. They're like this and that, United, Athletic, something, something. It's usually United is the most common. City, Manchester City, Manchester United. And then, or it's just a place name and that's it. Hello, Eldritch Cat. Boston Celtics. Okay, Boston. No, I couldn't name a team off the top of my head. I don't, I'm not interested in any American sports at all. Sorry. I know China does a similar thing to the US in terms of naming conventions. Let's go Cleveland Browns. Is Cleveland Browns a real team? Are they, do they seriously call themselves the Browns? Thank you very much, Luma Knight, for the £20. Thank you so much. The Browns? Is that real? Where's Cleveland in this term? Like, this is this is Ohio here, right? Right here. This is Ohio. This state. 
Cleveland is in Ohio. Browns. What's a brown and why is that good? Oh, sorry there. Sorry there, Himenuto. Uh, Twitch automatically censored the word Redskins. And that's very relevant to our playthrough today. Yo, when is the next video of the series coming out? I'll tell you about that in a community post tomorrow. Here we're talking about this stream. But it's going to be uh, in a week or two. Only time I watch sport is Scotland International Games. Here we are talking about sport again, but it's fine. It's fine. Bengals. Wait, what's that? The founder seems to be a man named Paul Brown, so they call themselves the Browns. Huh. That's sort of the same way you get Dixie. Dixieland, the Mason-Dixon line, and then below the Dixie Dixon line, they call it Dixie. And then that's it, you have a name. And that's it, just take it from a random surname of a bloke who invented your country. I mean, that's what Plantagenia is, isn't it? Plantagenia, the, the Plantagenet dynasty. Just, and then they name the country after them. But why aren't the people north of the line named Masons? <laughs> Vape Nation, I think you'll find that they are. Boom, that's a deep reference. Uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, some teams are named after a kind of employment. Like, for example, steel workers. Oh, that's in European, no, British teams as well. You get something, you get things like that. You do get employment. The Pittsburgh Steelers. I call it Pittsburgh, but it's actually Pittsburgh, isn't it? Over there. Packers. The Packers? Did Scandi eat Vinland? It didn't become independent in this uh, mod. It's still a puppet colony of Scandinavia here. But, spoiler alert, in my last playthrough as Aragon, I saw... Actually, to be fair, I do have some spoilers for, for what's going to happen, actually. Because I saw what was going on in the Americas in my Aragon playthrough. On the first, one of the things I saw was that Vinland became independent. Uh, Baltimore, Maryland is named after Lord Cecil Baltimore, the English Baron. Half the places up over here are named after places that founded them. Or... But I, I can't look at the real life names here because we're in a completely different timeline. Uh, we're looking at Alabama, uh, Charlesi, uh, Louisiana Royale, Plantagenia, uh, Sanacomi. Cherokee. Let's look at the demographics. So let's look at the culture map mode because this is different. Instead of being called Plantagenian, the culture of Plantagenia, the one that's primary culture, is called Cadian or Cadian or Cajun, as you might hear it said in real life because it's uh, a real name. So it's a different name. Cadian. Well, I don't know how I'm going to pronounce it going forward. Should, should I say. Cadian? Cadian? Or just or should I just call them Plantagenian or Cadian or Cajun? Cadia? But I'm not gonna suddenly I'm not gonna randomly break out into French pronunciation every time I have to say the name of the culture. It's like, oh my god, over here, okay, well this province has 74.1% Cadian. No, I, I want to say something that's natural to me. Cadian. Cadian? Cadian. I either go all French or no French. Um, here in Nouvelle Angleterre, 1800s American French. Monsozach. Mm. So, I noticed that there's very few Cherokee pops outside of this country. So, it's like they have been um, relocated here previously to when this campaign starts according to the sort of lore or whatever and I think in regular DoD the Cherokee pops are at least at least a little bit more spread out what you might call naturally um, demographically spread out across the whole region but in this timeline they're more quite they're quite literally placed into a, into a reservation here it's very interesting probably just call them Plantagenians because everyone can just look at the country name yeah I might still refer to them as Plantagenians because that's what I know and it's the name of the country. Might do it. So that's my primary culture, the only culture I accept. Um, let's look at my next culture here. It's a, oh my god! The Afro Arcadians actually outnumber the Plantagenians. That's fascinating. 
That's crazy, actually. I mean, no, that's mental when you think about it. You compare it to real life, you compare it to the South. Afro-Americans never, ever came close to outnumbering the, the white population in the South, did they? Maybe they did, but here we actually outnumber the uh, Plantagenians. What's the Southern Algo Pops? Uh, that's another native tribe, Southern Algonquin. Just another tribe, and they're not, they don't have their own semi autonomous place like the Cherokee or anything like that. About what are people saying? Historically, they did spawn. Really? Really? In some states, yes. That's crazy. Some states. Some parts of it, they outnumbered. Wow. In some states and regions, but overall, for the whole South. Have we formed Transalpania? We formed something completely different in the previous campaign as Aragorn. Ah, that's, um, are you, apparently you all know your stuff. Because I asked the question and like 10 people in the chat were like, yes, all my chat, who's, who's how many people are watching? 104 viewers right now. 10% uh, of my viewers are extremely detailed experts on the history of uh, the American South. Very knowledgeable people. We look at Pops and Vic too. Oh, is that what it's from? Now I'm curious to look at how it is in Base Rick 2, actually. But anyway, anyway, so this is actually different. Afro Arcadian is a different culture. <laughs> the name is different from what it is in the DoD we're used to, the multiplayer DoD. In uh, multiplayer DoD, the so called Afro Arcadian people here are split up into different, uh, different names based on the European culture that is dominant in the region. So here it was Afro. Fuck, what was it? In in Plantagenia, in multiplayer, it was Afro German no, not Germanic. Afro Frankish. Frankish. Afro Frankish. Because Frankish is like the Plantagenians, the Anglo elite, France, Franco Frankish, Afro Frankish. And that's the general culture. My grandpa collects US Civil War stuff and has a private collection. It's quite cool. Very nice. Alright, hold on a sec, I've got a cup of tea. Alright, Cowboy King Arcadia run. Don't spoil... Don't spoil what's going to happen. Don't spoil the uh, things. I re-downloaded Twitch just to watch this stream. Oh, thanks. Thanks for tuning in, appreciate it. Don't know how he gets the stuff since we're Scottish. Hmm. Imports it from America, you'd think. So, now, naturally, we can't beat around the bush here. The, uh, the Afro-Arcadian pops in my country are enslaved. Slaves account for 44.62. So not all of them are slaves, actually. There's some free people. Now, if I were to go to my capital, for example, New Orleans, Nouvelle Orléans, see if any freed slaves are there. It's a slave state itself, and city or the region near is 36% Afro-Arcadian. We're going to analyse this country before I start playing. I really want to. So, Nouvelle Orléans. Are there any... Okay, we have 4,000 Afro-Arcadian free people, free men. Farmers. Let's look at that culture from here. Okay, that's it. So there's 4,000 farmers and 46,000 slaves. How did... And the slaves are 1% literate and the tent and the farmers are... What's going on here? How do we... What What's going on here in the region of New Orleans? New Orleans. There are some free Afro-Arcadians and the majority are enslaved. How did they manage that? And do they work on the same farms or the same plantations? These are just farming grain, they're not even working cotton. Uh, by the way, look, again, we're going to be talking about the serious issue of slavery and the history of uh, 
We're going to be relating, of course, the, the lore here to the real life world with the, the Afro American history of slavery, and it's terrible. All references are just for historical things. Uh, it was all, it's all bad. All the slavery was bad, and if there are any jokes made, then they are just jokes. If we do ever go go ahead and make those jokes, and I am serious about it, but we do like to make jokes. Some of them are edgy. But this is all just for a game which is based in history. An alt history which is similar to the real history, we'll be discussing it. That's it, okay, that's our uh, disclaimer. So, and then we have the rest, we have our usual mix of pops. Interesting. So, we're almost ready to unpause. Let's do opening moves. I'm just going to bump up the economy. We are currently run by a reactionary party. The oligarchs, but they're free trade, which means I can't get... I'm going to... What's the concern? Let's look at the parties. So, agrarianism. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to have to hold... We're going to have to hold back the starting this, because we've got an agrarian party here. Could we be ultra-reactionary, return to tradition the whole game, and stay agrarian? It's, I think it's pretty bad. I can't really make factories. I can't have factories here. The, uh, the Chartists here are laissez-faire and protectionist. So protectionist means I can put my tariffs up, but laissez-faire means factories will be fucked. And the Liberals are free trade and interventionist, which means I couldn't build factories. I can't build factories under any of these parties. Um, but laissez-faire might be okay. Um... Stay agrarian for the RP, but can I? It's not right. Uh, look, I have to give some credit to Victoria. In Victoria, Victoria three, uh, Victoria two, you can't really play agrarian. You, it's not viable. You need factories. I can't rely on scraps of the world market entirely, you know, or whatever my few artisans decide to do. I have craftsmen in my country as we speak. Well, not many. Uh, but we do start with factories. So agrarianism already doesn't make sense. We have factories. We're not staying agrarian. Now, what kind of government am I? Parliamentary monarchy. I believe that I cannot change parties as this form of government. Because that would cause me that debilitating modifier that I found out in the Aragon run. So I'm just going to hold an election off the bat. And I'm going to support the Chartists and their policies and get them in power. Just a better part. I'm thinking of gameplay there, I'm not thinking of LARP as such. Let's start by increasing bureaucrats and my two most populous for starters. Yeah, the Conservative Party here is the best. Lassie Fair. I'm okay with Lassie Fair. I mean Yeah, protectionism is good, so I, like I'll I'll be able to put my tariffs up so I can make money. Lassie Fair, the capitalists will just build some factories and hopefully they're alright. I don't need to min-max an industry, a military industry or anything. You know, we'll see. So. Next we choose a research. We are in military industrial complex. Interesting. Uh, since ideological thought isn't in not until 18 form, we're in military industrial, we get medicine first. Medi industry, it's good. Medicine's really good. And... We have two armies to start with. Oh, that's a nice stack. Those are some nice stacks. I like them. Very well made stacks there. I'm going to start building a new one. Build a Hussar. Build one, two, three, and a thingy. And then, I don't know, them and them. Okay. So, there's nothing we can do with these factories in the craftsmen we have. So, a brief look at Vinland. I already talked about them. They are a current colony of Scandinavia. The Scandinavia also has this separate Native American territory here as a puppet, which is uh, partially westernized. The Belgian Confederacy, or the Belgian Alliance here, is completely decentralized to the state where they actually have seven different countries here under the puppethood of the one in the capital, Nouvelle Bruges, which has the rest as puppets. But they will centralize. They will move towards centralizing later. Uh, fighting them in that state means that they have potential 
generals from seven different countries. Well, I just have generals from one and their shite. We have four ships and a navy. Hello, Isopropy. We also have... I always wondered where does the idea of Arcadia come from? You mean the word or the idea in the mod? Ching Chu is the same. Apparently their lore isn't fleshed out, according to the developers. Grand Columbia is very different. It starts off the same up until the south. They don't have any of the south. and they Are they in an independence war against Spain? No, not at the start. And they haven't quite colonised all of uh, Lusitania or whatever it's called. Now over here we have like 10% Apache, Kadian. It's really interesting, just looking at the countries. I did promise I'd unpause by this time, so let's just unpause on speed too. Um, we'll take it slowly. Remember, we're taking it slowly. And we already have to read this. So I, uh, we're already paused. I did say I'd unpause on the hour. I did. We made it to 2nd of January. <laughs> and we have to read this. So, of Master and Slave. Plantagenia is a kingdom facing uncertain times. Ever since the unexpected death of King Édouard uh, Premier d'Orléans several years ago, his young son Louis I has had a Regency Council. Okay. Our king died, and we're currently under a regency of a young king called Louis. Okay, that's the lore. Remember that. A regency council is operating the government. This has kept the bare minimum of the government running. The lack of central leadership and overall sense of an unknown future has left many Plantagenians feeling wary of their own government. The peculiar institution, the Châtel slavery of Afro-Frankish peoples in Plantagenia, the opposition of Queen Regent Catherine de Valois-Medici to it, the Queen Regent opposes slavery. Very interesting. Okay. And the relations with the native peoples, not only the Cherokee puppet, but also other ones that live on various other places. We have Southern Algonquin. We have a little bit of Apache to the uh, east. I should say west, actually. It's west. We are Catholics in this country. Yeah, this is a Catholic country. Anyone not Catholic? We have, well, we have Native Americans. And Kadian, we have 4,000 Plantagenian Jews in the capital. Interesting. We have Afro-Arcadian Protestants on Bermuda. What the fuck? And they're producing sugar, but they're Protestant. So that is a Protestant island. We're mostly Catholic and we have 4,000 Jews in the capital. So that's fascinating. Right, okay, anyway. Uh, all that is putting pressure on Plantagenian society and its entrenched planteur power structure. I know I said I wouldn't switch between pronunciations, but I am. Fuck it, okay. Furthermore, relations with the Belgian Confederacy... Uh, excuse me, it's actually the Belgian Alliance? The Colombian Alliance? What's going on here? They're calling the Belgian Confederacy the Confederacy, even though it's called Alliance on the map. And apparently that's the Colombian Alliance, even though it's Colombia. And the Scandinavian colonies. That one's right. And they're fraught with tensions over various border disputes. If Plantagenia is to escape... Tried blowing up our king? What? What are you talking about? Um, if Plantagenia is to escape the chains of the past and head into the future, someone will have to loosen her bonds or break them entirely. Look away, look away, Katie land. Okay, good one. Regency. Oh, oh dear. Bad. Bad modifier. Institutionalized slavery. Bad modifier. Or is it that bad? It's bad for immigrant attra attraction. And the Arcadian dream forever giving me very good stuff. So I get three, count them, three modifiers right off the bat. Immigrant attraction is very important. Do we want to go for immigrants? Of course. And for slavery is actually... By the way, we start as a fucking great power. We start as a great power, do we? No. Well, yes, we do. We have a truce with that. Very crazy. Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, Guy Fox. Yeah, yeah, he tried to blow up the king. That's right. So we start as a great power. I feel like there's different paths this Plantagenia is going to have. Do we move forward, release the slaves, get immigrant attraction, become a modern nation? Or do we try and retain some conservatism or reactionary and stay with slavery and try to carve 
our own identity. I don't know. There's pros and cons either way. We get a nice birth rate. That's good. Ah, cholera. Can we... Okay, fuck it. We'll just go with it. Oh my god. What a bad way to start the game. Researching medicine, though. What's this? Oh, okay, this is huge. This is huge. You should go completely down the middle so you can piss off everyone. There's no middle ground between either having slavery or not, though, Great Nation. Hello, Spud. Hello, Judge Caban. Thank you very much for the six months. There's no middle round. There's no middle road here. Either you have slavery or you don't. Um, I mean, it's okay. Maybe freedom of womb is the middle ground. <laughs> hey, Spud. What did you have for breakfast? I had bacon and eggs. No more random questions like that. We need to focus on the game. Modernize. Be powerful. But how about we modernize, but we keep the peculiar institution at the same time? The only path to Arcadia is the path of liberalism, in my opinion. Go reactionary and rage against the inevitable industrial storm. Hmm. But there's a pressing question right now, which is how we deal with the natives. With the ongoing growth of our country's population and continuing struggle to claim new lands in the centre of the continent, the question has arisen of how to deal with the Native American tribes in our country. Some have proposed that the natives be confined to autonomous reservations, i.e. Cherokee here, while well, others have argued that the natives are encouraged to adopt our ways. Some have asked if it would be possible to accept the native cultures as part of a plurinational state. So, we have three options. Assimilation, semi-autonomy for individual small states, or try and accept them. Now, even in terms of Victoria 2 mechanics, I don't know what's the best here. It's there's a in terms of min-maxing Victoria 2 mechanics, you either want to get them accepted or assimilate them. Confining them to reservations here, that looks just shit, okay? That looks terrible. That just looks terrible. Cer certain provinces will get the native reservation modifier, which gives minus assimilation rate, no immigrant attraction, but less militancy for them. We have um, colonial policy, which is indirect rule here. I don't know if we get the opportunity to change that. Doesn't Plantagenia have major accepted pop gaps behind Belgian Confederacy? Yes. No militancy, but also no growth. Reno deserves freedom. Alright. Do we assimilate them, or do we accept them? Oh, I think we should assimilate them. I think we get... See, the assimilation rate here, cheekily, cheekily, this gives us plus 50% assimilation for the whole country. So it's not just targeted at the uh, Native Americans. For 10 years. This would be for everyone. Also, my fabric factory fucking closed. But I can reopen it. Better luck this time. More pops is always better. Indeed. I mean, assimilating them or getting them accepted would both match the pop goal of getting more pops. Assimilation rate would also help with immigrants. But uh, pop consciousness goes up and militancy goes up. However, that could be good for getting reforms. You see, uh, native integration gives us minus assimilation, minus immigrant attraction, minus militancy, but up consciousness. I don't want to lose immigrant attraction. Mechanically, assimilation is better. Yeah, I can give you a reason for that as well, which is there would be less disparate pop groups and they'd all be sort of simplified into one pop group which is Plantagenian. Which means there would be less chance of having like straggler soldier pops that you can't manage to uh, get put into a brigade and other stuff like that. So we're going to go for assimilation, that's the policy. Uh, historically that would be very harsh 
It's actually very cruel what certain countries did to sort of try and assimilate the natives, like in Australia. But that's what we're doing. Sorry. Deal with it. Playing a game. Alright. So continuing on speed 3 here. Uh, losing money. Because we can't get tariffs up because of this party. We're going to try and support the Chartists getting in power, like I said. The Sioux. How do you pronounce it? Sioux? The Sioux Dispute? The fertile plains of central Arcadia have long been inherited by various native tribes, the Sioux being some of the most famous. Various colonial powers such as Scandinavia and the dual monarchy made conflicting claims to the region. Yeah, you got it. That's right, Beanbot. Yeah. As long as it's core territory. Well, there might also be like some assimilation of the Afro-Frankish. So let's look at those 4,000 Afro-Frankish. Not Afro-Frankish, whatever. That were free. Wait, what's going on here? Afro Arcadian? Oh, they're in Nouvelle France, in Nouvelle Orle, just here. So, in the time between when we started the game, uh, those 4,000 freed farmers have uh, grown by four. That's it. What are you saying, F4, Mongols, trusted advisor? Thank you very much, Grumel, for the prime. Appreciate it. Anyway, we have inherited the problem of these colonial powers, so settlers continue to flow northwards from Umesurita. Where the fuck is that? Umesurita. Towards the Sioux lands, we have come into conflict with Scandinavia, who has protested due to the decades old preliminary border agreement in the region. Now they have come seeking a farmer revision trying to lay claim to most of the Sioux lands. We should be considerate about how we respond. Some have suggested that we counter by demanding the southern part of their Indian protectorate. But we could simply refuse to accept any Scandinavian claims in the region at all. Make the proposal. So, US Wisconsin? US <laughs> um, I would gain them. And that would be my counter proposal. So Wisconsin would be up here. That's the proposal that I get. I so basically that this is me trying to get further colonial claims up here. We will not compromise with imperialists. I gain a bit of prestige. Grand colony of Vinland loses some cores. It's very complicated what we do here. The Crown Colony of Vinland apparently has cores. Yeah, you can see they have cores on that. If I make no compromise, they lose those cores. But I gain the cores. God, this is a very difficult, very difficult decision. Do I make the proposal to keep good relations with Scandinavia? Or do I not compromise? I mean, not compromising might risk war with Scandinavia. And I don't know if I can handle that. I could appease Scandinavia right now. Make a deal with them now, but go after them later if Finland ever became independent. Pole conflict. Denying them cores will reduce what they can take in future. Scandinavia is too powerful right now, yeah. So, my counter-offer is demanding the southern part of their Indian land. God, it's, it's, core means they will attack. You know that for 100% they will attack. Suck up to them now, then back. So I'm making the deal. We gained this bit of land. We gained it. Let's see how they respond. If I gain that bit of land, as I just did, that cuts them off from further colonization into the centre. That's my election. I'm building those troops, which is nice. Very good. They're not angering Scandi. Okay, what do we want? Conservatives, Chartists, um, limited citizenship. Careful, the Liberals don't win. The Illamark annexation. The Scandinavians decided to be unexpectedly reasonable and allowed us to receive southern Illamark. 
from the Indian Protectorate in exchange for recognising their Sioux claims. Oh shit. Okay, we gained that, but we actually gave up the northern bit that we just took and they keep the cores on it. That's interesting. Hmm. So I took... They, they got that, but I got a bit of their land. Did I? Did I... What did I actually gain? Uh, do I have to click this? Uh, we had expected its integration to be straightforward given the prior work of Jesuit missionaries in the region. This has not been the case. The native peoples possess surprisingly dense communities which will not be easy to shift the clear way for settlers. First, furthermore, some of them are Catholics, a considerable number are not, and these Indians have initiated considerable resistance. This overextension may have consequences if we go to war with the Belgians. Oh no! Okay, I gained a nice swathe of land off of the Scandinavian colonies, which are populated by Southern Algonquin people, mainly. But there were a few, you know, some... Yeah, interesting. Our assimilation modifier would still apply to that if I start to get colonial immigration towards there. Also, the research of medicine will allow me to colonize. So that's a good reason to research medicine first. So that was like a territory swap. Uh, it was good to gain some land. They don't have cores on any land that I have. And I gained cores. I have cores over all that. So I want to take all that. You gained the good parts of Illinois, but left them with Chicago. Where is that exactly? Illinois, Chicago. Is it like here? Right here? So, an, a second independence war has broken out between Gran Colombia and Spain. Spain is going back in to try and get Gran Colombia, which is interesting. Gran Colombia, nine brigades. Spain, 29. But who knows what will happen. Keep an eye on that one. Interesting. Interesting. We're building up our second stack. I trust in Spain. Wait, how about we make a channel point prediction for that war? Any mods? Any mods in right now? Any mods? <clears throat> Any mods? Can I get a mod check in the chat? Nope. Oh well. My my great mod team. Any long term viewers of my streams will know the pain. This is certainly not the first time I've been in this exact situation right now. At least I'm only doing this situation over a channel point prediction. And this isn't because I urgently need moderation in my chat. I mean, I can't even recall the last time I actually needed moderation in my chat, because my chat is amazing. I mean, when's the last time I actually had a problem with anyone in the chat of my Twitch streams? It never happens, really. And it's maybe that complacency which uh, causes them to never show up. Uh, they do show up often, though, just not this stream. Like Tibbles is here, for example. Did you know that Tibbles posted a fucking photo of his cock on my Discord and he got banned? But you can't do that on Twitch, so here he is. I'm not afraid to just fucking go out, just spurt out the drama, okay? I'm just gonna blurt out whatever. I don't, I don't show discretion. I just, just say it. It happened. But you can't do that on Twitch unless he posts one of those giant. Uh, well, it wouldn't be giant in his case, but you know those big ASCII arts of various things that you can post in the Twitch chat. I think my auto-moderator would actually take care of those. But now that I've mentioned it, I think people might put it to the test. I don't drink anymore. I'm a good boy. You know what? Do you want to be unbanned from my Discord? I think, you know, I don't drink anymore. I'm a good boy. I think you've reformed. Bile size too small. Here, we look, we're roasting Tibbles again. I think it's time to give him some leniency, isn't it? I think we could give you an unbanned appeal. I'll, I'll ask the mod team on my Discord about that. I would be very grateful. Yeah, you know what? I think we can move in that direction. 
my street, my single player Victoria Two streams lately have always had a clemency that I give to someone on Discord. It wouldn't be the same without doing that. Mass reform. Well, anyway, uh, since I don't have any mods in the chat, I will make the channel prompt prediction myself. I'll just do it. Um, Submission period will be a minute. Um, prediction is up. Now, who will win the Grand Colombian War of Independence? Spain or Grand Colombia? You now have one minute to decide and bet your channel points. Your canned food. What the hell is happening in China? Oh, I was spinning around and you noticed that. Look, I don't know. I'm very interested in the, the lore of DoD Fanfuck and how it's different from the single player we're used to, but I'm still not touching East Asia with a barge pole. I've got no fucking clue what's going on here. And uh, we're just going to leave it for now, but I might uh, I might check it out sometime, okay? I want to try this mod? Feel free to. I've got the link on exclamation mark mod. Go and check it out. Uh, during the time of my Aragon playthrough, it got updated to a new version, which is what I'm playing now. I've updated to the latest version. Alright, let's unpause. You got your votes in for the uh, Grand Colombian War. We'll see how that goes. Maybe the Algerian Revolt. Remember when we fought that war? Remember when I did a long intro in my Aragon campaign and then I fucking was horrified that the PDM armies? The fabric factory closed again, for fuck's sake. We need these agrarians out. Isn't a fabric factory the prime example of people resisting industrialization? The Plontier aristocracy. Oh, here's the religious debate. So, are we going to do. Okay, moralism, but that's. Moralism is what the uh, reactionaries are anyway, so it's the same. So, the Plontier aristocracy, the slave owners, the upper class, that's the situation. They have power in Plantagenia. The the Plantagenian aristocracy wields tremendous power in comparison to the nobility of other nations. Hailing from English and French bloodlines of the highest pedigree, his men and women control enormous plantations employing hundreds of slaves. Woke moralists. <laughs> Up yours, woke moralists. Sorry, I'm sneezing. We'll see who cancels who, woke moralists. Alright, so... And this is sort of like the old aristocracy of uh, the American South as well. They swear up and down that they are preservers of chivalry, turning to their slaves with the benevolence of a parent. As codified in the Second Charter of 1814, the censitary vote system weighs the impact of slave owners according to their slaves, even though the slaves themselves cannot vote. This means that the upper house is completely dominated by planter interests, and the lower house thoroughly influenced by them as well. Resentment is building against them. The bourgeoisie, the uh, the middle class, the burghers, they're going to be the, the new money. They're not going to be happy with the old. They're going to be wanting to modernize. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. I visited Planet Junior. I did a, a speech at a university and they tried to cancel me for my views against slavery. They cancelled my speech. Because I have the audacity to oppose slavery. Up yours, woke moralists. Right. So that's them. This is... Uh, the reactionaries go up in the house. The Knights of St. George event. I get more events triggered right now. Is that what this is? I get more events. All right, someone is asking about Florida. I'll tell you about that in a second. So what do we want? Um, Lassie, I guess we have to go for Lassie Fair. 
Because that's what the Conservatives are. Jordan Plantagenia. Jordan Plantagenia. That's it. So, the situation down here in this region is... One port is owned by Venice, which I took as Aragon in the previous playthrough. It's the Athesians. They have that. It's actually a slave state. And they actually enslave Afro-Latinos down here. And there's an interesting thing. I learned about this. This is an uncolonized territory with a life rating of 5. Clean your room, bucko. <clears throat> do I do a good Jordan Plantagenia impression? Right. So, this is Rialto here, and this is uncolonized. Now, I was told that this is actually a place where slaves have fled, and they live among some native people, like, freely. They've escaped slavery and live here, sort of hidden in what must be harsh terrain and all that. That's, that's the situation here. But I think I might have events and decisions to get that. I haven't actually looked at the decisions. So if I outlaw slavery and then there's 40% liberals or socialists, I can integrate the slaves and get Afro-Arcadian accepted. Uh, I can claim the Upper Mississippi with ideological thought and early railroad. What's the Upper Mississippi? Exactly. Um, is that up here? Is that this? Or is it the, the Great Lakes? I don't know because... I've got a lot of cores already. Is it up here? Might be uh, those native, that native puppet. By the, it's a Missouri area. Um, oh, the Missouri. Uh, well, don't I already have that? Uh, anyway, anyway, the Seminoles. Yep, yeah. they're not. They don't get their own culture name, the Seminoles here, but they're just mind a new world native. You'd think in a mod detailed in the lore, they might as well just give it, give them a culture. It's not TGC though. It's not that detailed. So, um, I, I just realised as well that the land that Scandinavia got was actually given to its uh, Skrellinger territory of the, the native semi-autonomous puppet. It didn't go directly to the current colony of Vinland or to Scandinavia. It went to their Native American puppet. So it's it might not be that much of a threat. I mean, if order breaks down and the colonies break free, that'll be my opportunity, sort of thing, you know. It's the land you sold to Scandinavia. Well, I'm good. I can reclaim it anyway. So I made the right choice. I gained land, and the bit that I didn't gain, I can get cores on later. A Jesuit inter... inter... interaction? Insurrection in the north? The Society of Jesuits within the Southern Scaling Confederacy. Isn't that basically the land I already took, though? Is Wasn't that part of that? And that would, well, I'd gain one infamy. Have the global flag, flag skirra is fresh meat. Maybe that's when they become independent or something, so I can take them. The Catholic level of influence, Bellicose members of the cabinet, we should force these priests to stir their Indian believers to revolt against the Skraling government. That's crazy. And this is it. This is a launch the Rialto expedition. Mission to civilise prophylaxis against malaria and steel railroad. And then we can go down and take that. The border between the Angla colonies of the north and the Venetian slave trading outpost in the south, the Athesians, was poorly defined. The swamp lands in between, not to mention the ferocious natives made any attempt by other port to push the frontier, all but impossible. This remained true even after Plantagenet became independent, with Rialto absorbing many escaped slaves. Yes, the LARP! Uh, I was just, I was told that by one of the mod makers, I think, in the last stream, but now it's actually here written. It says it. So that's the lot. Technological advances and in infrastructure can get us in there. Right, that's good. Then we can take that with certain texts. We can just inherit it. It will gain life rating. The Arcadian Destiny. Oh, oh dear. Oh, don't look at that. Don't look at that. PLA Core Cosquicus title. That's a bugged title. What's this? Necrophilius, thank you very much for the tier 2 sub. You don't hear much of tier 2 or 3 subs nowadays. I see them rarely, but I appreciate that very much. Five months, thank you. Ronst is legit stopping Scandi from advancing in the north right now. I don't think they care to advance. I don't think Scandinavia cares that much. So, 
Poskaquias is still quite limited due to infrastructure and roommate sentence from local administration. Allocate resources to bring it up to the national standard. Oh! So that's Umafold, Kosquias, Telkas, Tamavra. Where is this? Where is this? Is that actually some land that I will colonize in the future? Or I don't know. What is that? Where is this? Where is Koskakwias? Uh, this is... Is this like some place I'll get in the future that'll get a baby boom and an immigration attraction if I do this? Where is it? Guys, where is it? Search for it. Oh, good point. Sam Martin. Well, that Martin is no saint after what he did to Victoria 3. Isn't that what you got from Vinland? Mm, yes, it is, actually. It is all that. It's so developing that. So Algonquin has moved to 99%, which means that some Plantagenians might have moved there now. Uh, it's Yeah, we, we, we identified it. It's the region I got from the Skrelinger. That's good. All right, we know that. So we also have ended Selegi Autonomy, which is the Cherokee. It's Nurse Reno. I get state, of, state and government or it's after 1865 and I can abolish it. Now it's nice LARP to have them there, but given my assimilation policies, I will actually want to do this and consolidate the land and get it, build a niche, do it, use the pops. Sorry Reno's in the chat. But after all, how would Nurse Reno as we know him today actually exist if they didn't assimilate the natives previously? He wouldn't exist, as we know him. He wouldn't speak English and he wouldn't play Victoria 2 online. So we're actually doing the right thing by abolishing the, the autonomy. <laughs> we're going to create the real Reno here. Right, and then we have abolish slavery. What, so I can only do it after 1900? Um... There might be more events. Land of Opportunity after 1840. If I change my government type, I can get pop growth and immigrant attraction for 10, 20 years. Um, are there any extra decisions I want to take? No. Wait, what? I actually didn't mean to take that. I thought that would have gotten rid of the options. Um, I want them back. That's what I did. Right, so... Hide extra decisions. Show government decisions. I want to see what I can do here. Um, I don't. The vassals aren't important enough to change anything. Don't need to change our border policy. What is it right now? Open borders. Well, it should be. That's what we want as an immigrant American country. Don't need to change that. We can change our national value. Currently, it's order. Does that do anything? Issue change speed. Well, order isn't actually great. I think there's other national values that I might prefer to get. I have to get... After I get ideological thought, I might actually try and change my national value. There's, there's ones out there like liberty or something that might give me immigration and um, stuff. So I'm going to be checking that out. I don't want to keep the one I have now. It's not really that good. And, and why not build some ports while I'm at it? All right, colonial disturbance. Uh, I'll take the prestige hit. I don't know if I want to be a great power, really. I'd rather be sphered by someone. Uh, so yeah, we're flying through this playthrough aren't we? We're really speeding through it. We're making great time here. Been streaming for about an hour and we've made uh, five months. Um, the Night of Saint George. Saint George. It's not enough to say I am a man. I'm a man of noble blood. White and black together. Noble. Not despite my African heritage but because of it. I feel no shame in being a mulatto because there is none. 
Is a mulatto not a man and a brother? Shall you weigh the hearts of all we... Okay, what is all this talk here? Uh, bestowing rights on one another, so it's what you to Not even the richest master of the enslaved <coughs> is free. Sir Louis Lafayette de Saint George is a scion of a noble family which accompanied the Anglois Charles I to Arcadia. Unlike many mulattoes, he is technically legitimate as his father married his slave mother in secret. Sent to Europe for his studies, he fought for the liberals in the Hungarian Revolution. The existence of yellow mulatto nobles has long irritated the planters, but Saint-Georges is now spreading ideals of racial equality unheard of in... And the uh, event chain, the event text stops there. So that just boosts some militancy and consciousness. Doesn't really go further than that. So some guy, Plantagenian noble, got educated in the dual monarchy and supported liberals. Oh, how did how did supporting the liberals in Hungary go for you? They're a, they're an absolute monarchy with Catholic conservatives in power. It sounds like he came back as a failure. And yes, I will happily ally Ronst against any Scandinavian uh, aggression. Decisive arguments for laissez-faire, if you ask me. It's the Knights of the Golden Circle, but French. Isn't the Knights of the Golden Circle something completely different than what we just described there in that event? Aren't the Knights of the Golden Circle something really pro-slavery? Uh, tensions in the great... blah 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 blah. We want moralism. The fabric factory really has no hope, does it? Okay, the conservative part. No, what? A coalition of conservative and reactionaries are. No, it is the conservatives in a coalition, but it is effectively the conservatives. Okay, okay, okay. Now we've got laissez faire. And we can put those tariffs up. And hopefully that makes more money than the taxes that we lost. Let's see. We're making money yet? No. No, we're not making money. I suppose we need some techs. Uh, we need to not. We don't need to fund the army or the navy right now. What navy we have. Let's make our first general. Who have we got? Who have we got? Didier Lardinois. Are you a good general? He's a 1 1. And that's alright. It's better than the other guy. Tawantin Suyu. Oh dear. Tawantin Suyu is happening. The Loire Jaune and its consequences. Alright. So, the triumph. What's happening? Uh, is Spain winning this civil war? I don't know. Tawantin Suyu. I don't know. Um, Tawantin Suyu is a playthrough that I want to do later. So, there's someone to look out for. Despite the best efforts of the Ponter, the frequency of racial intermixture between whites and blacks is given the rest of a class of yellow or mulatto peoples within Plantaginia. Their existence has proved vexing to the traditional racial dichotomy of European whites above and the blacks and natives below. To maintain the Ponteo power structure, the Loire Jaune, or Yellow Law, has been on the books in Plantagenia for decades. It curtails the civil liberties of free mixed race people, despite a notable amount of them. Maybe those 4,000 uh, so called free Afro Arcadian people in uh, Nouvelle Orleans were them. Maybe they were mixed. Mixed free people. So. Many mulattoes are agitating for a repeal of the Loire, especially to the influence of the Knights of St. George. Okay. A lot of militancy and consciousness. Interesting. They're not exactly a separate culture. But then, would they be? Because uh, Victoria 2 models culture, not race. So who knows? It's complicated. It's deep stuff. But we're taking it seriously. And uh, we're, we're dealing with it tactfully. Uh, yeah. How's that boy GC doing? You know what? Let's... Uh, Let's be cheeky. Let's spectate the war, because you've got channel points riding on this. There's a big battle here. Spain looks to be losing that. That's a devastating terrain uh, bad modifier. And the, the, plant, the Gran Colombians are reinforcing it with 3k. They have a good general, two defense. Oh, Gran Colombia is winning that. It's, I, I, thought, I don't think Spain's going to win this. 
I see a one voter vape nation in the chat. I keep that one is Spain. Oh, it looks like Gran Colombia has got this in the bag. I don't see Spain coming back from that. Oh, Gran oh, Gr Spain bros, pain bros, it's over. That fabric factory. How about we build something else? Build railroads, that's it. Oh, I need to move away my uh, encouragements to clergymen now. I also probably want to get some capitalists. Another one voter Eldridge cat. Oops, <laughs> bad vote there. Why is it still called Grand Colombia if they don't own Colombia? Because the names of all these regions are different. This might not necessarily be Colombia, it's New Granada. Hello, the Doge, the mod has showed up. Uh, voting for Spain was a major skill issue on my part. Yeah, me knowing the Victoria 2 AI, I would have voted for Grand Colombia myself. Uh, I can now reveal that long after the vote. Oh god, oh god, we're dealing with the big issues. Newly arrived immigrants in our provinces are finding it hard to assimilate into the broader Plantagenian populace and many among the local pop... Am I even getting any immigrants? Am I? I'm getting a, a, a little trickle from Burgundy, but the Crown Colony of Vinland is getting the most. And Amazonia down there. Damn. We want to up our immigration attraction. Many among the local population have come to view them as an alien presence. Immigrants live in separate areas of city. you got the separate, separate, separate. Well, I actually want to integrate them, so we need assimilation and all that. That's what I'm going for. I mean, both of those events just gave some militancy. And my artillery factory closed, so even that one wasn't a viable factory. But now the capitalists will build viable factories, won't they? Clueless. Spain bros. Oh, I I'm making money. I'm making money. We're so back. We are so back. I'm making money. Right. Are any native people assimilating? Let's have a quick look. Southern Algonquins are not assimilating. Nope, they're not assimilating. And that's who it was mainly targeted at. Are the Sioux assimilating? No. Minor New World? Dutch? Not even the Dutch are assimilating from Burgundy. Cherokees are assimilating. Some Cher Cherokee soldiers are assimilating. I always hated how you couldn't meaningfully affect immigration and assimilation as a player in Vic 2 bar from a craftsman exploit. A lot of mods open up a lot more options to that Welsh stalker, so yeah. You're right about that, but a lot of mods do more. For example, the colonial policy reforms which is like an HPM thing I think that's what it's from and uh, right now we have indirect rule which is actually not the best one to have we don't want that tax efficiency plus three it's all right I suppose but what we actually want is probably civilizing mission culture tech education efficiency assimilation rate plus ten that's what we want to change it to but Well, you can't really do that until certain things are met later in the game. At least we get some immigrants, which proves that we can do it. It's not as if we're blocked from getting immigrants due to having a terrible immigration attraction. By the way, we are remaining a great power. That's Sphere Ching Chu. You know, that's the American Bloodbath Alliance. So I'm going to Sphere Ching Chu. What if I sphere individual Belgian alliance countries? Or I sphere the Skrelling attempt and I can't truce. New general? Shite. Okay, let's sphere individual parts of the Belgian Confederacy for fun. Feeling a little bit devilish, so we'll do this, this little lick here. Sphere the two independent ones that border me. And maybe... Ronst, I put a point in Ronst, they're my ally already. Why not? So, even the Grand Colombian Navy is winning. If you voted for Spain, it's just over for you. I don't know how you can ever recover from this. Now, Grand Colombia isn't so much to worry about in this mod as it is in base normal DoD that you're used to, because uh, 
if I'm correct in my prediction, this will actually... You can actually take Texas now do it. Wait, I don't have... No, what do you mean? I don't have a core on that. I'm following event chains rather than starting my own independent wars at this point. I will colonize. You know, I should actually build a couple of ships. We have the money. So I'm going to build some ships for colonial points. Just go in. Like, what, quite a state? Nah, look, I'll get events for that later. It's fine. Doesn't that prevent the Belgian Confederacy forming? Well, that would be a good job done if that's the case. That's the intention. Uh, we need more capitalists in the country. Jesus. I don't want to use a, a whole national focus on that yet, though. And even if I get ideological thought, I'm not going to be able to get a new national focus because of the accepted pop problem. And that's why we need to assimilate. And that's why it's probably a good idea to do something about this giant group of half my pops being unaccepted. I mean, just looking at the raw mechanics of it, we're going to have to try and abolish slavery. I mean, that's what I'm leaning towards. Uh... Conservatives. Yeah, that's the party I want to be in power, so they're getting strongholds. My population growth has gone up. Hey! Hey, look at that. Big if true. Well, I'm sure I'm going to get some kind of civil war. The beam not, but absolute Baroque banger. That's right. But we got a, a nice trickle of immigrants there. It might be going away now. Well, it's coming back. And this is on a country with a minus 10% malice to immigration attraction a country with barely any reforms some reforms actually army reform I didn't even notice that regionalism which is a terrible one I want to change that the country actually does start with some reforms sense of press regional police I don't know wouldn't freeing the slaves yeah I mean look freeing the slaves is better just pure Victoria 2 mechanics wise. That's always been the case. That's the case for it. That's the case for freeing the slaves. The mechanical case. It will change to events, yes, to over yeah. By the way, support the channel, join the subscribers today. You will get rid of those annoying pre roll adverts by subscribing. Or you can use my donation link to uh, give money in a way that is better for us because you actually, like, less of your money goes to a company. Because if you sub, half the money goes to Twitch. But if you donate, most of that goes to the streamer with the stream elements link that uh, Lidoge just posted. Here's Europe. I wonder what will happen to Aragon in a playthrough that I'm not playing them. That'll be interesting to watch. Join the no ad gang today. I don't get ads even when I'm not a sub. The poor grind set. What's this? Bureau des Nations Auto Stones. Whoa. Le Code Salagi. Our protectorate near the Appalachian Mountains maintains and governs the remnants of the native populations that were quick, quickly subjugated and destroyed following the early colonization of Arcadia. Although the Cherokee protectorate comprises the vast majority of the native population of our state, there are still those that live and work within our own territory. The Bureau de Nations Autostone. What is that word? Autostone. Even by French standards, that is a fucked up word. Thank you very much, the blue for the prime. Thanks so much. Autostone. Look, I know a bit of French, but that word. How do you even fucking say that? It's a Greek word. I can tell. I can tell. But anyway, um Auto Stone. When can us plabs expect the next Bavaria episode? In about one or two weeks. I'm gonna make a community post update tomorrow. H is silent. Even Auto Ktone? That's worse. First time subscribed you just took that listen, okay the blue? That's a uh, very awkward. 
Um, I'm glad you subscribed. Thank you so much. Enjoy the stream. Now, um, a complete authority with the BNA established in the court system. People treat with any notion of resemblance or respect to kindness native population is frequently and harshly discriminated against the job opportunities. Oh, the misery, I, I suppose. They just gained some militancy. Okay, that's a, that's a French issue. The fact that it's actually pronounced with a hard C instead of CH. Did we get a railway built somewhere? Is that what that sound effect is? Alright, new, new general, he's shite. We need some good generals out here. We might have some wars to fight later. Alright, we know that it's over for Spain's cell, so let's get rid of the uh, fog of war, the uh, debug thing. Alright, we're back to normal vision. Vision Alliance has been cancelled. Here you go, Spud. Chronometre. Easy. It's just, I mean, I can tell which words in French are the Greek ones where you pronounce cr, but um, that one, autotone, that one didn't strike me as that from the start. Uh, but uh, the Great Storm of 1837, Nouvelle Orléans is optimally situated in terms of commerce, the natural trade hub of the Caribbean and southern Arcadia, with a commanding position on the Mississippi River. Unfortunately, it's also quite vulnerable to hurricanes, the massive tropical storms which occasionally sweep into the Caribbean. The fog. It's the fog. This is really bad. A giant storm made landfall on the coast, a little time to react. We were caught in the maelstrom. People are dying. Our beautiful capital has been devastated. How many people die? Either 0 0.5 or 1%. Depending on a 50-50 chance. How many did we lose? We only lost 1k. So that must have been 0.5% of like 130,000. It was maybe even less than 1k. So, um, no, we're fine. Not that bad. Artisan output, factory output, RGO output, life rating, militancies up, immigration attraction. Well, immigration push might push my, my accepted pops out to places like this, where they'll start building up a Cadian pop to assimilate these natives. It's not necessarily a bad thing if people... I mean, internal immigration is fine. I'm not losing pops. Combin war. Oh, it's over. It's over. No, it's not over. This place joined. I think this place joined the war on the side of Grand Colombia. The Herrerian Revolution. So it's over for Spain. I wonder if it's possible for a strong Grand Colombia to form. I wonder, because in the last playthrough it, it got balkanized into Mexico and everything, but maybe if it wins the Independence War hard, and don't spoil it, because there was a lot of different event chains that I saw taking place there that could happen. A Spain playthrough is probably really interesting in this mod as well, to retake the Americas. I tried that in the TGC, Vanilla World, didn't go well. Might be interesting in this mod, though. Alright, this immigration right now is really good. That's really that's amazing. And the fact that I've basically done nothing to get it as well. I didn't do anything in particular to get this immigration. I didn't pass a reform. Right? It just got it. So that's a really good sign. We're getting really good pop growth. We'll be hitting 2 million soon. So where are these new people going? Are they assimilating? The Romans are assimilating. The Scottish aren't. Yeah, assimilation is on track. Excellent. You can see my accepted pops going up quite fast. 849.53. 850. 8.46. Yeah, accepted pops are rising. Good news all round. Nice playthrough. Nice playthrough so far. Comfy times. Comfy times. Those pops. Them pops. Can I get a them pops in the chat? I think it's a follower emote. 
if I'm correct. Apaches raid Saint so Sauveur. The Apaches. Well, that is going to be the uh, thing that starts an event chain for me to conquer that land, isn't it? Well, that's a lot of them in the chat. Damn. Yeah, nice one. So, the Apaches are especially ferocious tribe living on the Western Plains. They are too decentralized to launch organized conquests like the Inca. Oh, God. Yeah, they're, they're going to launch some conquests of Bionia pretty soon. No expansion for now? Yes. Guess what? I'm not map painting. Can you believe it? I'm not map painting and I'm actually nation building and going through event chains. Can you believe it? I don't think Reddit would be happy with how I'm playing this. If you want someone who's going to play this on speed 5, rush through the game, map paint everything, attack every bordering country, I'm not the guy for you. You can go back to Reddit. This is how I do things in my single player playthroughs. I take them slowly. I interact with chat to an insane degree. No chat message goes unseen on my fucking stream. I read the events. I, I weigh the consequences. And um, Apache braves on horseback descended upon the town picking off lone plant and brutalizing the settlers who attempted to defend the area. It was only the timely intervention of a local frontier patrol which prevented them from pillaging the whole town. But they still managed to escape. That is terrible. Oh, the population growth. Oh, terrible for this 15k province. Indeed, I do tend to call this. We'll see who cancels who woke Redditors. If you want five speed, you can watch a different channel, woke Redditors. That's not what I do out here. That's chaos. Oh god, it's raided again! It's raided again! Give it a fucking break! Oh my god, stay on guard against the Belgians or go after them? Oh. In an act of astonishing temerity, the absolute audacity! The absolute audacity! The absolute audacity of this. I read the events, yeah. I, I read the events, I I'm stronger, I'm better. Right, the Apache, I'm not saying that, have attacked, say, you know, I'm not going to get banned, have attacked saint Sauveur less than a month after the last incursion. The absolute audacity. So, I've got a tough decision I'm about to make here. Um, since the last raid, many times people had acquired weapons and so are better prepared to fight the results of street by street fighting between settlers and Apaches. Yeah, they went and bought guns after the last one. They went and bought guns. I can't believe I'm being raided by Apache attack helicopters. Where are they getting this fucking technology from? Did someone send them back in time or something from the future? What is going on here? No, I want to play mainly blind Moth Prophet unless I ask otherwise. I will play blind unless I ask. So, yeah, so if... The incident has animated Westerners against the tribes of the frontier and now Western politicians are calling on the government to take a stronger s stance. Yeah, if we do take that stronger stance against the Apache, we would be moving away men and resources that might otherwise be allocated to fighting against the Belgians, who seek to reclaim their lost southern lands. Ah, shit. Well... I want to tell you a general thought I've had about a path that I might want to take in this campaign. That's right, Baraki. Uh, hey. The, the Belgian Confederacy are the real racists. And the Vinland? Vinland and the Belgian Confederacy are the real racists. Woke moralists. Anyway. I've been thinking, right? So, you can go and form Arcadia. Right? You can do that. Or I can stay Plantaginia for the whole game, make what I like to call Plantaginian exceptionalism. So fuck going after the Belgian Confederacy unless it's to directly annex them as Plantaginia. And yes to Plantaginian expansion into the frontier alone. So I am completely in favour of sending the cavalry 
to the Apache instead of whatever the Belgians can do. If the Belgians come to war with me, let them fucking come. They'll crush me because they have a pool of seven different countries that can give them generals, but still. Uh, and they have massive accepted pop mobilization above me, but I can fight them. I'm sending the cavalry. We'll see what the consequences are and how bad the Belgian response is. Do they actually have cores? No. They got no cores. They got no cores on me anyway. Can't believe yeah, Bavaria maxing. Plantagenia maxing. Who the fuck made the mod? They made several French errors. Okay, name one. Name one. Where are you seeing any French words on the screen right now anyway? The average. Blonde, not Flandre. Ah, which one's that? Blonde? Oh. Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. Blonde. <laughs> I think it's even fucking Flandre in actual base game multiplayer DoD. I've never, rem I don't remember it ever being called Flandre. That's wrong. Contact the DoD fan fuck right now. At what's his um at uh what's his name? Um, give him an at. Well, if you want to go on the DoD fan fuck Discord, contact Ape because he's the most active guy who keeps talking all the time. Mod maker. But if you really want to get something done, con uh, contact Dinuke and get him to correct this. Superior and not superior. Where does it have... Is it supposed to have a Y or not, Baraki? I, on here it doesn't have a Y. Which one does it have a Y in? Hmm. Is it supposed to have a Y? State name is correct. They could be let off for... There could be a lot of dialectical variations here. As well. Because this is divergences and there's a different culture. Frankish and... De Ongwa. There could be differences there. LARP-wise. What is the Belgian Alliance natives? Oh, that's the Belgian Confederacy. Um, it's a septimon, but it's actually decentralised into seven different republics. Think of, like, really early United States... Uh, curious to see what the follow-up is. I'm getting so much unemployment because my capitalists aren't building shit. Maybe I should get capitalists, I don't know. Well, I built an extra frigate, so I have more... I don't know, I don't get much colonial power anyway. Plantagenian recession! Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I'm in recession. It's over. Still getting good pop growth and immigration though. As long as there's people, as long as there's pots. And I've got an alliance with uh, Ching Chu, which is nice. Okay, okay. Medicine's almost done, which will be a crucial tech. Absolutely crucial tech. And then after that, I don't know what I'll get. We want to get the education, maybe a military tech. Maybe we do a military tech. Um, get research points. A military tech. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Um, we we'll actually start with high pressure here. We start with a couple of commerce techs. So we're really good. A military tech would be nice. And we have military industrial complex, obviously. I'm literally Walloon bro. Yeah, it's true. Baraki is Walloon. You need to know that in this community. He's been here a very long time. Beer hall opening. Let's go for the militancy so we can get reforms. How close are we to a reform? Very far away. Uh, more liberals in the upper house would be nice. Right, nearly medicine. All right. I wonder what's going to happen with these event chains. And we're still... The main plot of Plantagenia really hasn't started yet. The main event chains in terms of uh, the path of the country, the regency of the king and all that. That's going to be the real event chain. We're only in... I don't know. 
if you think of a film, we're only in the introductory scenes that set the characters up. We're not even in the main plot yet. We're just in the, in the early opening scene setting the, the scenery and the stage of Plantagenia. The, uh, the Apache raiding plotline to establish the main characters. We're in the training montage. Well, they don't come normally until halfway through the film. Because, I don't know what I think of it. Oh, good general. Three attack. Jean Rouen. Oh, I like him. I like the name. He's named after... Uh, that Jean Rouen. That's going to be an iconic character in this playthrough, I can tell already. Oh. I've got a rebellion? The Sha... Chauinon rebellion. Jesus Christ, France. Chauinon. A genuine crisis emerged in the Ohio Valley. Settlers, they have been taking up residence, as you can see. Some pops have moved in. Yeah. Uh, and the new towns in the continuation of the Southern Belt plan to develop and colonize the local area. The project has come to a quick, shockingly brutal end. Oh no. A Shawnee warrior named Lam de May took control of a local tribe and incited them to rebel against any European settlers. They made quick work of the hastily prepared village militia. The settlers did not expect. Oh, I'm being killed by the Apaches and these people. They're killing me. We need to stop. The response from our armed forces has been swift in retribution, burning villages, wiping out several small tribes. Moving them, moving others towards or into our Cherokee protectorate. So Southern Algonquin gets removed by 5% in my whole country, which isn't that many people. Do they get moved here? I don't know. Now you do the American thing after the war and force them into the West. Herreria Victorious. No. Oh, Spanish forces have been beaten at every turn. Hey, it's time to... Uh, yeah, the war's over. That's the channel point prediction. Ladoge, since you're here now. Can you please call that for a Gran Colombia victory, which is, I believe, number two. Refund the channel... No, not refund, but give out the channel points to the correct victors, number two. It's over Spain cells. So, does Gran Colombia take over these places, though? That's the question. Do they? Or do they just... You know, there's a situation in these new countries. We'll see. See what happens. Any capitalists? No. So we continue. We continue. That's a, an interesting Gran Colombia side plot. That event chain that we got there for these lands here that we just took is kind of unique to that when we chose to take it from Scandinavia, otherwise we wouldn't have that. And there is starting to be a trickle of Plantagenian pops, but not many. Hmm. Pop growth plus one. Very good. Hello Shadows Mimic. Pop growth from uh, medicine. Excellent. Good start. Is the optimal clergyman percentage different in this mod? No. It's the same. The Council of New Granada in Bogota. The end of the war with Spain has left Northern America in an uncertain position. Guillermo de Blanco controls Herrera. Antonio, I've seen this. So that these three countries are meeting or something in Bogota. In the last time we saw this in our Aragon playthrough, there was a, a massacre. Um... They killed each other or something. So nothing united there, but it might be different this time. Do we have factories yet? No. Laissez faire doesn't work when you don't have a solid basis of literacy and capitalists and, bureauc and bureaucrats. It takes some time to get going, but later, when we build up, we'll get better uh, capitalism and laissez faire and factories. Proclamation of the New Granadan Empire. Oh, this is different from what happened in the last playthrough. They united. They united and they have some cores. There you go. At least they're not becoming part of Gran Colombia yet, am I right? What's the small nation inside Plantagenia? The Spanish Revolution. This happened last time. As well. Uh, that's uh, the Cherokee Reservation. 
Very sad, I know. I'll be gobbling that up later. Let's hope they can be wholesome Chungus friendos. Here we go. The main plot line, the coronation of King Louis the First de Orléans. He has finally reached the age of majority in an opulent ceremony filled with pomp and splendor. He was coronated King Louis of Plantagenia by the Archbishop of Nouvelle Orléans. Louis may be a young king, but he must learn quickly. With his anti-slavery mother, Queen Catherine, no longer the head of state, various factions are beginning to emerge seeking to influence him. Those who support or oppose slavery, those who seek war against the natives or against the Belgians, even those who desire an end to the monarchy. Oh, there are many who seek Louis as a pawn to be captured to use against their rivals. That is the main plot. Here we go. Ugh, what are we going to do? Second Peninsula War. Wait, the dual monarchy going in on Spain? Oh, that, I could colonise if I had colonial points, I think. I've never seen that. The dual, the dual monarchy has attacked Spain. What the fuck? To enforce a treaty on the Spanish Republic. This is the Napoleonic Wars. The new Ottoman Empire. Oh. Wow. They have good cores. Wait, where's the cores? Commonwealth. Everything's kicking off. The opening of the Con Congress of Venice. Um... It's all kicking off. It's all absolutely kicking off. It's going insane in Europe. The main plots are starting to unfold everywhere. By the way, I think I'm going to continue session two of this campaign tomorrow to make up for missing a while. Oh, here we go. The what dispute? The, the Cymru dispute? The Limri dispute? The region of Cymru? What is this? This is Wales? Wales? Anyway. It's inhabited by the Apaches, a ferocious warlike nomadic tribe. Uh, Apaches or, or are they Welsh? So their mastery of mounted warfare enabled them to carve out a vast way of the territory. They're not a state, but you can see on the culture map mode, they dominate that land and a bit of uh, what's in Grand Colombia. The region was claimed by both the dual monarchy and Spain, and now we have inherited this point of contention. It seems that a recent Apache attack on northern Lusitania has driven Grand Colombia to launch a substantial military expedition to crush the so-called Empire of the Plains once and for all. Okay. If we have allocated resources to keeping the Western border supplied, then we should be able to launch our own attack and intercept them and force them to recognise our own claim. Okay, well that's what I did. So, I should be able to beat Gran Colombia to that. Because I armed them and did all that before. Okay, it's ours! With a swift notice and plenty of cavalry at their disposal, our Western garrisons were able to march in a flying column to head west and intercept the Hispanic settlers and their military guards. After a tense standoff, the Hispanics turned back, effectively surrounding all their claims to Cymru. While their sovereignty over the region is no longer contested by our southern neighbours, we must break the Apache! Yep, nice! Oh, map painted, map painted, and, and the decision, rename it! Yeah, so... Ville Verte, Cymru, Tudori, Fort Louis, Saint-Georges... Yes, use French names. What's this though? Can we get Saint David? Can we get that? Give me that. Do I have a... Take Taming Northern. Ideological thought on Harley Railroad. We can go north in that area. Is it actually a glitch that we don't have that central province or is it intentional? It's, I don't know. But this is why colonisation isn't really canon in this mod. You don't actually colonise manually. You actually let event chains do the work. But I could colonise that manually since I didn't get it. This is some good land. Hopefully we get some colonial migration in here. It's got good resources as well. Sulfur. Yeah, nice. That's Oklahoma. Of course you don't control it. What's the what's the best local Oklahoma sporting team in the USA? What are they called? The Oklahoma what? 
Alright. Um, it's probably intentional, the North Prophet, yeah. We are making a lot of money, by the way. It's good. Oklahoma City Thunder. Treaty of Venice. What's happening with the Spanish War? Oh, a spectate. Spain cells in this playthrough are having a rough time. But the dual monarchy actually hasn't sent that many troops in. We're respecting this war. The Apache Moon. Oh no, they're under siege. It's Apache raids everywhere. Minus population growth, militancy, more prestige. Damn them. Damn them, we're going to pacify this territory. We need to bring in settlers. We need to uh, pacify it immediately. We're about to break 2 million pops, by the way. And a new general. Is he good? No, but we've got Jean Rouen, who is... Um, He's a speed general, plus 20% speed. The Oklahoma Sooners? The Sooners? Is there another team there called the Oklahoma Laters? What kind of name is that? Is the dual monarchy going to send any more troops to Spain? An alliance with New Granada? Nice. Oh, we're definitely not going to be a great power much longer. That's over. That is over. The DM doesn't send any more troops. Spain might win this. Oklahoma Zoomers. There should be a team called the Zoomers somewhere. It just means running fast. It means they're fast. Oh, there's going to be a battle. Oh! 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 Oh, what's this? A count on civilization in the West. Pantagenians. New Orleans combines both the plan and organization of the Incas and the awful smell. I thought I had left behind in Bjornia. Envers journalist from Burgundy. The city itself is no less than a tribute to arrogance against God himself. During my time there, I saw the three minor storms that wiped out and tore down with a solar structure city centre. That's rude. That's rude. Just last year, the city experienced another disaster that caused a large amount of damage. The government seems committed to the city as its capital, however, its strategic importance and historical significance are unmatched by any other settlement in the nation. The people, although quaint, are kept beleaguered with the responsibility of the nation's numerous slave labour. I cannot abide by the choice to keep those in chains, but when it comes to the new world and its less civilised components, it must be seen as an asset. That's rude! Fuck you! Get out of the country. Can we kill him? Tell you what, slave, enslave him. If you actually support slavery over here that much, how about you become a slave yourself? Onverse journalist. Come on, Spain, you have a much bigger army there. Hit them. I mean, the, the AI is just so bad. The AI is so bad. Even the dual monarchy is being bad here. They're not sending more troops. <laughs> the League of Media is still there, by the way. The good old football league. All right, beer hall. Good. More militancy, more reforms. The final act of the Congress of Venice. What did it do? Did that do anything? It would have been nice if I actually read that, then I would have known. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't read it. Sorry. Didn't read. Come on, capitalists. After I get clergymen, we need capitalists. Sefini. C'est ouvert. Ouvert sounds more like over, which is kind of funny, but it just means open. But I like the way it sounds so close to over. C'est ouvert. 
Thank you for the compliment of my German. Uh, help my uncle is here. Thank you. Je suis un cheval. You, you all know good French there. Plantagenia is a failed society. They can't even beat the Apaches. Just you wait. Uh, I'll join that war. My first war. And it's New Granada. Helping them take down Essequibo. I'll tell you what though. It's really good to have an alliance to the south of Gran Colombia on the other side to help me against them as a counterbalance. It's very nice to have that alliance. I shouldn't still have Fog of War off, but that's an exploit. Uh, I'm not a great power anymore, so my Sphere Empire has already collapsed before it could get going. What does this one have accepted? Just Grenadin, but that's most of the pops there. Well, at least on the coast. Oh, they also have a, a slavery issue themselves. Hey, hey, the Belgian Confederacy are hypocrites. Their southern regions are slaves, slave, slave states, and they have Afro-Arcadian pops too. It's that, that's actually why it would be amazing to get Afro-Arcadian accepted. Because a lot of the pops here in the Belgian Confederacy lands are that. And if I if I plant the Junior Max instead of forming Arcadia, where I would get Septim and accepted probably, that's a way of doing that, getting good accepted pops in there. We are getting walls of text debating Walloons in the chat, but I support that. Enjoy your debate there. I'm not going to interrupt it. Have fun. Knock yourselves out. Pop growth. How are you doing, Spud? Zoxo. Zoxo. Thank you, Woven, for the eight months. I'm doing great. We're having a great stream here. Hello, Cox. Waiting for the next event. We need to... Do we have any of, our, of my pops in Kimri yet? Let's see. And have any, has anyone moved there? No colonial migration is taking place. None. Oh, no, they have. Sorry, sorry. A few have. My bad. You can see from the low number of pops there, it's basically just a few individual families that have moved in. And they're taking a massive risk going into the fucking Apache land after everything they've done. Big risk. Do we still have people chatting about American sports? I think the American sports chat died down after I started getting into the campaign. Everyone is avoiding Texas, bruh. No, they're not. I'm, I'm, oh no, my immigration's gone. No. No. Oh, the Grand Colombians are getting so much. 2k. Fuck that. Oh, the Amazonians. I need some of this. I need a reform. I need a reform. Give me more militancy. The rebels. Oh, God. It's the Bjornia Tawanatsu rebel uh, war again. Let's spectate. Will Bjornia win this time? Because uh, Tawant and Suyu won last time in the last campaign, and it doesn't look like it. It really looks like it's going to be another Bjornia L. So that is... Oof, the, the brigade difference. Can I get a camo in England? Can I get a sub to support them? I don't know if it's going to work, though. You're kind of fucked. Wartime election. Am I really at war? I'm not committing anything to it. Let's support the Conservatives again, unless any new parties have spawned. Anything? No. We're the same. Why don't you declare on the Belgians for humiliation and let them siege you? Because that's a, a gamey exploit that I don't need to use in this single player game. Where we're just having fun. So, what do we want here? Um, the Conservatives are... Protectionism. Protectionism, please.
That's a really good message, Welsh Stalker. I like that. I think that's actually a music. The Vinlandic Revolution. Oh my god. That's very quick. The Skrælinger Council is independent and it's a fully civilized nation. Oh my god, we need to take them down. Now. We need to take them down. Do I get event chains to do something in here? Can I do something? Oh my god. 1840. Uh, this one here, Maskier Land is a puppet of Vinland. But they're, they're still allied to Scandinavia right now. Will Scandinavia be able to crush this? Now let's get some Krapitalists in our Krapital, <laughs> if we can. Uh, Pro-military or Jingoism, please. Which one is the Conservatives, actually? Jingoism, all the way. You haven't a vet spud. Well, hope wait, wait, a decision. Well, it's the Jesuit thing, isn't it? But well, I can't. Uh, I need end war Sanakomi. What's that? Um, th this is one of those things where, how do you know what it is and how do you get it? I can see the fresh meat one, <laughs> which is a really funny thing to call it. Do I see? Th is it an invisible thing? The fresh meat. Yeah, it's invisible. End War Sanakomi. What is that? In terms of the mod here, it's a bit confusing to know what these things mean. End War Sanakomi. Could it be the Apache thing? or Maybe it's after the actual civil war between Scandinavia ends, if they try and come in and take them back. Could be that. There could be something else I don't know that's about to happen. There's all sorts of things that could be here. The war is an event where you will fight, fight later. Well, there you go. I can't wait. Welcome back, Beanbot. Support the Conservative Parks. Um, Annex a cable. Excellent. Let's get Tajimin and Alibamo. We've got another wall of text in the chat on the Belgium debate. Oh. I think we, after they're done debating, we should have a sort of poll to see who won the debate. But I don't know what they're arguing. Or I don't even know if they are arguing. I think they might just be sort of exchanging some info and having a discussion. But we should have a debate uh, and see who's right and wrong. And we'll have a poll. I suppose the question is, is Belgium a legitimate country? And we know what the answer is going to be. Who's, who's actually going to fucking vote for that? It looks like there's a bit more investment in my one single railroad in the capital city from the, the capitalists I encouraged. Fang Hu better pay their debts from now on. Yeah, you, you better watch it, Fang Hu. Um, more militancy. I don't want to kill any pops, but more militancy. If I get up to four militancy, that might be enough to pass a reform. That will give me another another percentage of my Conservative Party will support a reform based on the militancy point, which means it will go above and then it will enact something. Moralism. Hello Spud and chat. Thank you Mars Faye for the 16 months. Spud Gun, hear me out. What if we develop the Apache land to encourage them settling and then when they settle down, we kill them all? Uh. I'm going to get rid of... No, I'm throwing out that idea. It's too too harsh. I don't know if Bionia can win. They might win this battle. Um, but the Incas outnumber them so much. The same party won again, which is good. I mean, we're seeing a big Bionian stack. Bionia won that battle, but that doesn't change the fact that they're still heavily outnumbered. Crazy things are happening. Did uh, Scandinavia actually declare war? No, not yet. Oh, Vinland annexed its satellite thing. More militancy. Um, thank you, Ewart. 400th year of the Inca Empire. Oh, they just celebrated their 400th birthday. 
Oh, Bionius attacked here. That's a, that's a favourable attack. That's a favourable defence. Bionia might win. I don't know who won that battle, to be honest. Okay, you were. Okay, you're saying it. You can say you like my videos and stuff, but you can word it better than that. Two attack, general. Mods. If I look at your profile and you have a fucking anime PFP. No, okay, you don't. You don't. You're alright. You're alright. Chatter. How is it that when I start a plant of junior game yesterday, you start one today? Well, I had been planning planning this one for weeks, so. I exactly, Taggy. Hold your wish. South American Thunderdome. Now, what a video that was! Oh my god, I love that video. I'm, I'm going to watch it. Really good video. Anime PFP allegations thwarted. So you played Aragon when I played Aragon and Planted Genia when I played it. The Uman. Where is this anyway? Blavit. Oh god. You know, that's a lot of interesting things happening over there. Scandinavia is actually at war with Novgorod and I don't think they're doing anything about the, uh, the Vinlandic revolution. Vinland only has 1 million pops, I have 2 million. They're not much of a threat, but they're getting immigration and I'm not. Apache Raiders burned that man's house IRL only for me to come and play in a game where Apache Raiders raid me. What a coincidence. Hungary took Serbia. This is outrageous. So, yeah, Scandinavia has chosen to go after the whole uh, the Nov Lord Novgorod the Great instead of dealing with their colonial rebellion. If I were to play Scandinavia in DoD Fanfork, I would want to keep Vinland. I really would. That would be really interesting. What is the thing between Bohemia and Poland? The Duchy, the Duchy of Teschen, obviously. What else would it be? Ugh. Uh, the First Council of the States of Germany. Could we be seeing an early Germany movement here? Could we be seeing early Germans? The Grey, the Grey League. Oh, is that another football league? Right, idealism with a minus 10, but that's what it is. Can you declare war on the indigenous reserve? I will get an event to declare war on it soon, I have been told. Hopefully. Oh, I need to get rid of... Wait, uh, let's... I, I had my fog of war off to spectate this war. I think the Bionians have been beaten back. There's no hope of Bionia winning this, is there? This is a bit. This is a favourable battle for Bionia, but will they get a wipe here? Can they pull off a wipe? Oh, they wiped them. Oh. Oh, do they have a chance? The event is delayed long enough for them to build up a bigger army. Smiley face. The massacre of Novgorod. The Scandinavian victory. Result in the war against Novgorod. The army of the Republic could not stand and defend the whole lands they had stolen from Scandinavia. They breached the city walls and secured the Kremlin as they intended to place another puppet prince. A bomb exploded and killed several men of a Norwegian regiment. In retaliation, the troops set the city ablaze, looting and killing on sight. Novgorod ended on this day. Jesus. And Scandinavia has taken a lot of land and I think they've gained a couple of puppets. We've still got the Ingrian March, the Novgorod Principality. Well, it's still it's not a puppet. But... Wow. Who will rise up to make the best of this? There's, there's wars, multiple wars going on with between the Russian principalities. Who will rise out supreme there? Hmm. It is crazy flavour. There's a lot. Bionia still has a really good army walking around, but I think they're about to blow it in a mountain battle. I think it's over. Could they be blowing it right now? They didn't pull off the attack, they're just going to take attrition. Hmm. Are we close to building our one railroad yet from the investors we have? No. 
Yeah, Poland playthroughs would be good. A playthrough of a country in Russia would be good. Yes, indeed. They would all be good. Bad part of playing Poland is that you are Polish. No, it, you can suspend disbelief. You, you don't have to pretend that you're Polish yourself to play Poland in a video game. I think there's a distinction to be made there. You don't have to be Polish to play Poland in a game. So it's fine. You don't have to go through that. Well, I'm just here waiting for the events. Uh, come on, Belgian Confederacy. Come on, Grand Colombia. Come on, Apaches. And particularly, I want to take down uh, the Skrilling Council. Hurry the fuck up. Skrilling Council. They just built their first brigade. The game's giving them time. Where even is this brigade? I can't see it anywhere. And I've got Fog of War off. Where'd they fucking build that? And it disappeared. They don't actually have a brigade. Sorry. They, they didn't actually get a brigade. Anyway, um, Bionian War. Nah, they, they don't have a chance. Bionia doesn't have a chance. Okay, this is the big battle. This is the big battle that will decide this war. A lot of non-subs in the chat right now, by the way. Belgium has united. Oh, Jesus. We, the people of the Seven Republics, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic... Did they? Did they unite? Okay, one at a time, maybe. One at a time. They've only united one so far. So, there used to... Wait, there used to be an Arcadian Empire? In this... Okay, yeah. We have to fund. A war is coming. I think. Um, there used to be an Arcadian Empire in the war. That really happened. But um, Belgium has united. The Planters have often disparaged the Seven Republics, confident that their attempts to build a unified democratic state were a doomed endeavour. The ratification of the Belgian constitution and the consolidation of the Seven Republics into a single nation has thoroughly disproved that notion. It's over. C'est ouvre. C'est ouvre. C'est ouvre. Which means that work. Uh, while we would prefer to focus on our own affairs, the Belgian admittance of the illegally occupied Plantagenian province of Vierce, as the Vierce territory has ignited a firestorm of anti-Belgian sentiment. This is a direct threat to our territorial integrity. If we allow it to go unchallenged, then we would be condoning the annexation of our lands. And who knows where that might lead? Already, already the East Coast has seen a sharp resurgence in Louisiana nationalism. But the small landholders hopeful that the Belgians might aid their cause. This is the beginning of a crisis. Uh, see you later, Baraki. Thanks for tuning in and giving your take on Belgium. We appreciate it. So, I get preparing for war. That's nice. Belgian Confederacy trigger the Sanakomi crisis. I think I've seen that name somewhere. I think it's something to do with the Scaling Council events to declare war on them. See you later, Baraki. Okay. So... There's jingoism, there's loads of stuff going on. Here we go. Fund the armies. Oh, they just united. It actually happened. Oh, it, it really happened this time, I swear. I think we bring the armies over. And then the next step would be to mobilise later. Bring the rally point close. Here we go, here we go. I need some fucking factories and some railroads. War is on its way. Get the legend. The legend, Jean Rouen. He's going to lead our forces to victory with a free attack. The legendary Jean Rouen. How many pops does this United Belgians have? Uh, 1.82 million. We still have the advantage in pops, but they will have an advantage. We can get a reform, though. And I think a really good reform to get would be all allowed rights for more assimilation and plus eight immigrant attraction. Boom. All cultures can vote, but I don't think slaves can. Okay. That's a good reform. Yes, we should get immigrants. Come on. Transfer those immigrants to me, please. Give me more. Jürgen Pedersen. He's, he's Swedish. What's, the, what's that land that was referred to as one that was ours? Ah, Vierse. Vierset or Vierse. That's our land. Does it have my pops? It's even got my pops. It's got my pops. 
It's mine. I don't have a core on it. Probably to prevent me declaring my own war. And the game will just allow me to... Uh... Wait. White peace in the Andes! <gasps> Did the be I, I wasn't looking! And the Bjornians might have won. Getting rid of the fog of war thing, by the way. I, need, I, can't, I shouldn't be able to see. The Bjornians have survived? What the fuck? Can I get a, a North FC in the chat? And can I get a come on England uh, from a sub? This is unprecedented. Everything is going differently from what happened in my Aragon playthrough. Novgorod has fallen. And Bionia won. And this thing happened in North, South America. This is exactly, completely different from what happened in my last playthrough. It's like the mod goes, these things happen, so it can't happen again. They scored some goals. Mars V gifted a tier 1 sub to SZ5U underscore Imperial. Thank you, Marsfee, for giving a sub, and thank you, Clarky, for gifting a sub. Thank you very much, guys. Come on, England! Clarky1875 gifted a tier 1 sub to Frondul1. They did it! You crazy son of a bitch, you did it. The mod has a lot of replayability, indeed. I mean, I, I could play any of those countries, and that would be a new experience as well. Move them to the border. We're going all in here. We're ready for war. Here we fucking go. Was the mod updated? Yes. Uh, between the last playthrough as Aragon and this one, it was updated. I can't tell you exactly when. I think it was a week ago. Or maybe two weeks ago. New update. I, and I also can't tell you what the update did, but I believe they're starting to move towards adding... Middle East and Balkan flavour, that's their main target right now. How gauche. A royal visit to La Galette. King Louis I has recently begun touring his new domain. What is this, a CK3 mechanic reference? Familiarising himself with the land and its people, while building popular support for the monarchy. His recent stop in the growing town of La Galette... Oh, where's that? Look for it. Here, here, 50k pops. So his visit here seems to have awakened something within the young monarch. While he had visited Leggett for the purposes of uh, officially designating it as a royal city, he has been enraptured by this gateway to the west. He spent quite a bit of time inspecting the outlands of the region, much to the shock of the locals, and even conducted some of his tours while riding on horseback. That's nice. So for five years, this place gets pop growth and assimilation rate, life rating, and immigrant attraction. Well, that's cool. That's nice. Really like that. That's a nice one. What is the Squalen Council's accepted pops? Um, all sorts of uh, Native Americans. They have a lot actually, but they can't build. They can't build a brigade for the life of them. They just can't do it. So that's nice. Uh, immigration's not good right now. We need more reforms. We need more. Hi Spud, how are you doing? I wanted to ask you if there's any chance of a campaign series that we played in not alternative reality. Okay, yes, I know. Um, a lot of people request me to go back to the vanilla world. And in terms of active content that might be done within the in the near future, there is that Great War from my Canada campaign, which takes place in the normal world. And that's the best I can do. I don't have any actual series planned. Uh, here we go. Lord of the Plains. So, I can tell you that the Great War for that campaign, which I have promised, will be some done sometime. It's on the radar. And that will give you a good Great War in the vanilla world, and all the people who want that content. So, anyway, right. Louis's time in Lagalette is affected him more profoundly than his first and thought. Oh, he's, a, he's a fucking obsessed with this town. In the week since the end of his national tour, he has made several trips out to the frontier, often upon his own horse. Frontier towns and settlements across the plains have become accustomed to the sight of the king riding into town, his entourage scrambling to follow. He particularly enjoyed uh, engaging in buffalo hunts with royal Indian auxiliaries to the point where his white minders were somewhat embarrassed by the familiar and fertilizing manner, which he treated them. Nouvelle Orléans and the other cities of culture and refinement Back west have been astonished by the king's plebeian activities, but he's providing quite a few intellectual politicians for him. Okay, this is good. The image of the dashing young Roi Vacher riding across the plains. Vacher is, uh, must be the French word for cowboy. 
as Vash means cow. Play Canada campaign, but play the save before Sokoto nationalizes and play Sokoto. Yes, I will do that tomorrow. No, I'm joking, I'll continue this campaign tomorrow. The king is getting friendly with the natives. He's the cowboy. Some people, uh, when I said that I was playing this mod on the EOD fanfuck discord, people said something about a cowboy. You know quite a few French words. I didn't know that one. I didn't know that one, but I could work out what it meant from the context and it being related to the word vache, which means cow. So. I bet he's going to end up having a native lover or wife. That's going to be the next event. Mark my words. Actually, I'm going to make a channel point prediction. No one uses the word vache. Yeah, that's because the French people have no reason to use cowboy because they don't have cowboys. They didn't have the fucking American West. And Quebec isn't exactly the sort of cowboy territory, so no one uses the word exactly. No one in Britain used the word until fucking Western films came to Britain. Okay, okay, but does he have udders? Who knows? There's rumours that the king is half cow. Right, I'm going to take a channel point prediction. Okay, I'm writing this, I'm writing this. You have two minutes. Alright, will King Louis have a native lover or mistress in the event chain? Uh, I don't know when I'm going to cancel that one, maybe the end of the stream. Do you think he's going to have one in the event chain, yes or no? Risky bet, because we don't know how the event chain goes. Uh, maybe some of you have fucking prior information that you can use to gain free channel points here, but... I don't care. I think the event chain is going that way. And I think it's going to happen. But will it? We'll see. Let's see if we can predict what happens there. Oh, we can hit that Belgian stack nice, nicely if we... Uh, one militancy. That's good. I can get a reform when the timer passes. I can attack that stack with Jean Rouen as soon as the war begins. They've got no... Uh, thingy. They got no uh, reinforcement. We're going for it. How come you didn't remove the football tag? Because we talk about football in this stream. It's a relevant tag. Um, how's how's your football going, everyone? Your team winning? Team losing? Come on, England, happening. Will King Louis get a native mistress or lover in this event chain? We'll see what happens. Currently he's becoming a cowboy. He's fraternising with natives out on the frontier. He's uh, doing all that. Will he get one? My team hasn't won the cup in 11 years for fuck's sake. Oh, that's rough. Oh, 11 years. Does that mean that the Dallas Cowboys are Dallas Vache? Yes. Le Dallas uh, Vache, 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 Vache. I don't know. And where's Dallas out here? Is it Saint Georges? Or Hudori? Tudori? The Tudor Rivacher. Right. Are they funding their army? Are they fucking funding their army? I see it. Right. I'm gonna see if I can garrison a troop here. I'll garrison them here, behind, uh, behind them. I'll be smart about this. Uh, put the rally point here. 
Bit of attrition moving across there, but it's fine. Don't worry. I had to take it. The Belgians are holding the event. <laughs> Scum, ba scummy bastards. Cheating. The Tudorie Vacher. Vacher. I think it's Vacher. The Belgians are exploiting against me. I still take attrition there, 0.3. Okay, move to Saint Eleanor. What will become of this? Charismatic liberal leader. Oh, that's nothing. I think that's generic. That's not King Louis. Oh, where's my immigration? I'm not getting it. Got a lot of money though. No clipper convoys, but okay. I'm sick of the lack of capitalists. Actually, I just I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting anything built. Fuck it. Just get get the clergymen. Actually, I'm going to encourage soldiers. Uh, Need a bigger army. Reform! Reform, reform, reform! Um, uh, landed voting gives one immigrant attraction. Weighted wealth gives two. Gerrymandering, three, four... Um. Free press gives me better literacy. So I'll do free press. Gives me a little bit of immigration attraction, but also literacy. Vicky 3 makes me want to vom. Good point. Good take. Only the best takes out here. On Spodgun Official. In the chat. You have more voting rights? Yeah, I'll do it next. The, the reactionary planters don't support that. Oh, that worked. I got a bit more immigration from that. Just 1%. Yeah, voting laws will be next, don't worry. I'm waiting for this event, waiting for this event. Come on, come on. I'm itching for, for war. I know, yes, a lot of you... I know, I, I heard you the first time. Yeah, universal voting gives 55, and that one's 30, 8, 2. Come on, give me the fucking war. I love, I fucking love war. The Skrellinger thingy is allied to Scandinavia though, so they'll join. And they might send an annoying stack. That's annoying. Eh, yeah, could be worrying. If why, why would Scandinavia still be allied to them? It wouldn't make any sense for Scandinavia to join that war, because they've already lost control of Vinland, and they're not doing anything about that. They didn't go back in. So why would they care about their native confederacy, which is civilized, defending it against Pantagenia? They've they've relinquished all their interests in the region. They don't give a fuck. They just have an alliance left over from when it was their puppet. Can we get our first railroad built by a capitalist, please? Right. Well, we're patiently waiting for the next event in the event chains. When will the generous... Are they influencing it? Well... Uh, yes! Oh. Oh god. They're friendly. Oh dear. Maybe an event will make it... Yeah, maybe the event will make it happen differently. Or something. Than just a straight up me a decking on them. Maybe the event will do it. Or the decision, I should say. I always get event and decision mixed up. So, uh, the DoD fan fork mod makers will bestow us generously with an event soon. Please pray to them. Maybe, maybe, uh, King Louis is having his lover right now, and we're about to get the event for it. Oh, two defense, not bad. 
Leopold Piquet has joined the forces with uh, Jean Rouen. Did the Belgians get a Miltech? Oh dear, they got two. Fuck. Uh, they have one more than me and they have a big brigade count. Oh shit. They're, oh my god, we're fucked. We have to fight very well to beat them. Oh dear. Should I pre-mobilize for this? Uh, I, I don't even know if I'm going to get a war. I don't know if it's really happening. Should I? I'm not mobilizing until the war starts. I'm going to trust my standing army to pull off some good victories and then I'll pull back. Allies? Uh, we could ally Vinland. That'd be nice. Get my relations up. If I could ally... I should have been doing that from the start, really. I should have actually done that, to be fair. Got this ally down here, but... Oh, they're already in some fuck up, fucking massive war against uh, Quito. I didn't get called in. Can New Granada win this one, I wonder? Oh, the Incas are coming in from the other side. Okay, New Granada, my ally down here, might actually be expanding well. Also, the Belgians became a great fucking power. Jesus. Did you play the Age of Enlightenment mod? Yeah, Age of Enlightenment's really good. I played it, but like three years ago, and I've been meaning to check it out all this time. No offence to the devs. Oh, I got my alliance with Finland. Great. That's really good. They have a big brigade count. Bigger than me. Because they're getting so many immigrants. But I'm encouraging soldiers, so I should get more myself. Yeah, Age of Enlightenment, I really do want to return to that. I played it once. I never went back to it. Once or twice early on. It's obviously been developed so much now. I should I should go back to it. If the mod developers hate me for not checking them out again, it's understandable. Because, you know. Bo is fine, he just likes games we don't is all. Hey, that's not the only thing he's done. Check my racing community post on YouTube. Ah, re the drama. Ah, re it. Look. Just consult my recent community post on the matter. And then let's not talk about it anymore on the stream. Okay, move on. Good. Right, so. If a war could come along and force me to not talk about this topic right now. Boom, that would be great. Take our attention away from that nonsense. If someone could uh, give me a sub or a donation, something to take my mind off that. No, not the micro-celebrity drama, no! Oh, that would be a river crossing attack. But can Jean Rouen do it? We'll see. Yes, there we go. Mr. Beans. How about a hype train? Oh, that's even better. Thank you, Mr. Beans, for the prime. Quick, someone waste money. It's not a waste of money. Five speed? Never. Uh, three speed? Even if I'm sitting doing literally nothing, I'm committed to three speed. Oh, we got five. We're getting a hype train. Bacon drama, forget it. Our mind has been taken somewhere else. Thanks for the you five. Can't cope underscore you can't unfortunately cope. gifted a tier one sub to Sully the Booze One. He's unfortunately gifting subs to people who are unfortunate. By the way, this Can't preparing for war thing is giving me massive amounts of uh, leadership for generals. Something happened to Scandinavia, but I missed Can't it and I didn't read it. Unfortunately, gifted a tier one sub to Mushrix. You know, it's the way that the text to speech actually says that. You that makes it sound. Underscore, unfortunately, gifted a tier one sub. To it it, it emphasises the unfortunately part when it says it. You can't cope. Underscore. Unfortunately, gifted a tier one sub to Kiloro. It says, "You can't cope." Unfortunately, gifted a sub to this or this. It doesn't say you can't cope. Unfortunately, gifted a sub to this or this. You could even unfortunately join the Discord. Great idea. Join my Discord. There's the link right there. It's a, a great Discord. No, seriously though, loads of people. Throughout the years have gone, oh my god, oh here we go, things happening now. So let me just, let me just mention my Discord first. People over the years are like, oh my god, Spudcode has fallen, 
Oh my god, they banned me. Oh, it's oh, it's going to go to inactivity now that they banned me. But you know what? Spudcore has always been fucking going along for the past three or four years. We've had problems. We iron them out. I've been server owner the whole time, fucking sorting issues. And it's in a good place right now. Well, there's a, there's a few issues. But it's in a good place. It's got a book club by Trabith, which is great. More people should check it out. There would never be any Spud God has fallen if it were as good as it is. People have been predicting the fall of Spud God for the next two weeks for like three years. It's just like China. People keep predicting that China will fall in two days. People have been predicting that. People have been predicting that with Spud God for the last three or four years. But it never falls. It keeps going from strength to strength and growing and gaining new innovative sections, such as the, the Victoria 2 modding section. Yeah, very good. It's even got a helper role. If you can p you ping the modding helper role, you can get help from modders to do your stuff. Right, anyway. So check out the Discord. Is anyone joining? I'm checking the welcome channel as we speak. Did anyone fucking join it? Got one. He joined at uh, 2 past 8, which is the same second as right now. Thank you. Check it out. I want live feedback. If the person who just joined is willing to give me live feedback on what they think of the Discord, right here. What do you think? Do you think like how it's uh you like how it's organized? What do you think? Yes indeed, Naplatus. But I'm not gonna get drawn into insulting that, I guess, right now. I saw a beaver dog. Where? Taco Man welcomed him. Look. That's very nice. Not everyone gets that. What's the new Discord icon? Oh, yeah. Uh, is it yesterday? Yesterday I changed the Discord icon to the Trump mugshot. Yes, because it's the it's the big uh, current meme. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's making a, a meme about it. So I thought, you know what? I'll get in this. I'll get in on this early. And the the other side of my PFP thing goes perfectly with the mugshot. So I put it in. So if you want to see that, join my Discord. And that's also another recent community post I did yesterday. Well, you're free to give your takes about Bokong, but I'm not going to comment on it myself, uh, whether I agree or not with individual things that people are saying. But uh, it is that mugshot, but what is the head? The head is my profile pic, but the other side of it. My profile pic has a happy side and an angry side. And if you look at the one on my Discord icon and on the community post, it's the angry side. But what is it though? What am I saying? There's some deep lore as to what it is. Many people have actually successfully researched and come up to find what my PFP is. And they've even bought their own versions of it themselves. But I don't explain this lore openly. I let people work it out and figure it out, and some people do. The main person who found out, I think, about exactly what my PFP is and did the research and got one himself is Asquith. Asquith did it first. Then Will did it. And some other people know it as well. But anyway, thanks for those gifted subs. Join my Discord. Another one person joined. Great. We got two. Better than nothing. Let's go. Back to the game. So, La Fosse Guerre, the phony war. We're literally in a phony war situation with the Belgians because we're sitting on the border. It's true. Hostilities between the Belgian Confederacy and the Kingdom of Plantagenia are broiling. They have yet to formally escalate the war. The Belgians seem to have armed Louisiane partisans in the hopes of either instigating a Louisiane revolution or at least hampering our own war effort and conflict eventually breaks out. Oh no, that's going to actually happen because I chose to fucking arm the Frontiersmen instead. Oh shit. If we have not expanded too many resources elsewhere, such as in Kimri or the southwestern Great Lakes, then we sent... Oh, gee. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, we're fucked. We are about to lose to Louisiana. I don't even know where the fuck that is. Decisive defeat against military despair. Leadership modifier minus 100%, organization rate minus 20, mobilization size minus 6. That's a bit harsh. 
I lose a core on Sana Komi, if I even had one. Did I? I didn't have any extra cores. Well, that's fucked up. Come on, that's... Ah, uh, I didn't lose actually any... Oh! Vinland, though, are going to be my saving grace. Here's the war. Oh, I just got attacked. Oh, like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, that's my fucking land. Whoa. What the hell? It's over. Pull back. Let them come into my land. Fight a guerrilla war. Command the units of the Marinos. Uh, and get a uh, reform. Very nice. So, these are these are dark times for Plantagenia. We've even lost a brigade that we had in that land. Oh, disastrous times. And the current channel point prediction is only fucking caring about whether the king will fuck a native. We're not even doing a travel point prediction for this. Send the navy out anyway, even if it's in disrepair. Mobilize my six brigades. I, if I pre-mobilized, I wouldn't have fucking lost those mobilized troops, would I? Damn. This is what I get. Yeah, but I wouldn't have gotten the fucking native land, which is what the route I'm actually going for in this campaign. We cannot pull off the attack. Steiner's attack cannot commence. No, keep the prediction as the same one, please. We're gonna go. We're gonna commit all out to the king fucking a native. Command the units of Reno. Do they have a good general? No, they don't. And they've got shit units as well. You not know, build something better than that, Cherokee. Did Vinland? What? What day? Hey, what? What actually fucking happened? I hate when the game fucking does this. I allied Vinland against the Belgians, and then suddenly my alliance is gone. And they didn't join the war. It's a defensive war too. When? Why does this fucking happen? Every time. And fucking New Granada is busy literally losing to Quito. Oh, it's so over. It's the American bloodbath. It's not really. But it is in a way. Let them go and take attrition in mountains. I'm going to fight a guerrilla war. Letting them come to me. I'm outnumbered. I'm outgunned. That attack as well uh, they have. So we're pulling back and fighting a guerrilla war and we're going to use the military genius of Jean Rouen to launch a daring attack eventually against them. These are American bloodbath tactics, strategies. They will spread out and we will destroy them in detail. That's how we will engage in this war. Indeed. My navy's fighting them and I don't even think that's going to go well. Mm. Oh dear. Now we're going to lose that, but at least we tried. Run away, run away. Oh dear. Where are we going to hit them? Oh god. We are tentacled. It's actually a genuinely difficult situation. What do they actually want from me? It's just... Enforce a treaty. Vague. We don't know what they want. I don't know what they're going to do. Pull back, properly gather the armies. We do have the native troops, which is an extra five brigades on our side. That makes up for our loss of mobilization. Right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit them on the coast, actually, because there's some plains around here. There's river crossings that we can't really avoid because they're everywhere, but uh, we'll, just, we'll just do it anyway. Fuck it, we'll do it. Bring troops there. Boom, 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 boom. Attrition. It's not so bad, actually. We have better supply limit around here than we did as Aragon, generally. This grass farmland, Port Royal, is where the attack will take place. Jean Rouen has been transferred. The attack will take place. The Jean Rouen offensive will take place in Port Royal when the Belgians move in. And I'm going to put my two defence... Leopold Piquet to defend Resurrection. Okay, and uh, the Cherokees can defend their own mountains. Good luck. I don't want to retreat too far back into my interior. I don't want to let them occupy that much. And by the way, look, I don't need backseat gaming on war in Victoria too. No offence to you people. Do you want to know what the treaties do? No. I don't. 
Edward Thompson is the Cherokee leader. Is that like Reno's name? Either the Belgians will attack me. Actually, I'm going to move back so they don't attack that. This is forested, which makes it easier to defend. Two speed is all we need here. If I don't backseat, how will I be smug and get mad at you? Have you ever thought about that? Well, I suppose that's what you need to do to be an accurate Twitch chat member. Oh, they're attacking the mountain. They're attacking Reno. No, Reno. I'm going to reinforce that with my two defense general stack, but I need to wait until they're one day away so that they don't cancel the attack. I need to let that attack go through. It's a hilly farmland. Oh, it's not even that good defense. It's not actually a mountain. Oh dear, this could be bad. They are, they're moving down here though. Port Royal battle will, com will commence. So the, uh, the Zhongguan offensive will go ahead and my defensive battle in a hill will go ahead. So we are on all fronts right now. I'm micro-pausing, it's true. I'll put it to speed 1 and not micro-pause, okay? How about that? Because Victoria 2 multiplayer wars would normally be fought on speed 1. 5th of July is when the defence will move in. The Zhonghuon offensive has begun. The enemy attack in the mountain has begun. We're doing okay there. The attack is going well. Zhang Huan is a, a, a legend. They are against Constant Juice. What? What is that name? Zhang Huan kick his fucking arse. The roll is in my favour. And then we're going to follow up and we're going to kill the 15k. We're going to... Whoa, we're destroying him. When my 27k defensive boys get in there, we will turn the tide. Fight back against Constant Juice. Zhang Huan versus Constant Juice. Who will win? We're going to launch an attack against the 15k and follow up on him. Because this has been an, an annihilation of a battle. And I can build a brigade. Build an artillery. No, I can't do it. It's in the province that a battle is taking place in. Okay, follow up. I can only... I thought those two provinces were connected. I can't do it. So just follow up. And we're doing well in this battle too. The defensive with the Renos. Very good. Do you know someone actually made a meme of Reno's as a cereal? Like, Reno's, with like the Native American picture all over it. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, we got there first, that's bad. Zhang Huan, you were too fast because you're fucking 20% speed. And now we're going to get attacked. <laughs> but we're still winning, though. We, we did well. The general isn't that good. Constant Juice might have got a better manoeuvre there, but... He was still outsmarted by... Uh, you know, the Renos need to be retired. They were... Their organisation was wiped out. Just let my defensive boys handle it. Use that donation link in the chat right now to support the channel. The, uh, the, the so-called mountain defensive isn't going that well. If they reinforce that, we'll have to retreat. Yeah. I will retreat that. Oh, we wiped them. Now go after the 15k. We got a wipe on the Belgians. We have even the odds. We have officially more brigades than them now. We just wiped one of its major stacks. We have inflicted good casualties in the defensive battle, but we're going to have to pull out. And that's fine. That's a strategic retreat. We still inflicted more casualties. Oh, we all retreat maimed them. I all retreat maimed him. The main stack had to retreat as well. I hate it when that happens to me. But it happened to the AI here. We're getting good rolls. Very good rules, must be said. Alright, I'm going to actually move all my armies together now, and I'm going to move my main boys here. Ooh, tempting to follow up on that, but no. They have an extra stack. Oh, we wiped them! Unoccupy now. Oh. They're down to how many brigades? 21. Great victories here. Oh, yeah. Unoccupy that. Fuck it. Oh, we will definitely be enforcing a treaty on them. We're so back. We didn't win the naval battle. Oh, what's that? Oh, I missed that. They followed up. That's retreating. They literally retreated. That, that's a... <laughs> They retreated behind my lines, I would argue. They actually retreated backwards. 
Orta retreated back to that. I should have noticed it, but it's so fucked up and weird that that happened that I wouldn't have ever anticipated it. That is very weird. That retreat is awkward as fuck. Shame we don't have a predict- And that- That is bullshit, actually. <laughs> it would have been deleted in multiplayer for retreating behind lines. So that's unfortunate. We just lost the plant- uh, the fucking Reno army. I'm not going to do anything about it in terms of cheating, but it's a, a devastating loss. We lost the Reno. Pause the game and tell him to delete. Yeah. What do we do here? I think I'm going to pull these armies back. I'm going to take Jean Rouen and come back and hit that 26k and wipe it out. After we're done occupying. Move down the coast, consolidate all the armies and hit the 26k. That's the plan. Fuck Vinland, by the way. And also, I hope I don't have to go to war with Scandinavia. The, the so-called war goals are actually this vague enforcer treaty, which means it's just going to be post-war events that decide what happens. I don't know what they'll be. It's events that will decide it. So let's get ideological thought. We really have to. It's Ideological thought is absolutely fucking mandatory because it gives you so much plurality. Oh, they're moving back to the capital of Reno. That's fine. We can just go around and hit 17k instead instead of... Although, um, we could actually hit Reno. We could actually hit the Reno province. It would be a pretty good attack. Because this isn't actually that defensive. It's only one defense and I think we can actually avoid a river crossing. Maybe. By attacking from Guerrero and Resurrection. It can actually avoid a river. Right. We're going to take off the defensive general. We're going to prepare for a Jean Rouen classic. You start moving because Jean Rouen is 20% speed. Okay, here we go. We're going to fight on our terrain. We're fighting to prevent them from fully occupying the Cherokee. You know, we've been accused of treating the Cherokee badly, but when it comes to a war, we're brothers, we're fighting together, and we're going to repel the invaders. Yeah, that's right, fuck off. Get the fuck out. I didn't actually assign the general. That would be a, a big skill issue. Right, they're fucking off. 8th of October, I might actually hit him. Same day. Because I put the 20% speed general on, and he's on his own. This will be a daring battle if it actually happens. Oh, oh. Okay. Unoccupy this, and then we can maybe move, move around and hit him in Arlette. Arlette, by the way. Oh my god. What a province that was in the American bloodbath. Remember that? Holy shit, the Battle of Arlette. Wow. That was iconic. Remember? Who remembers? If you haven't watched the American Bloodbath, then what are you even fucking doing? With your life. We should uh, protect the Reno land because they're trying to rebuild brigades that can help us in the war effort. What came out of your fund, Charlie Kaplan? You didn't uh, do anything. You might have missed... Right, we're going to launch a good attack here. The Belgians are finished. I watched it, but I forgot. How about you rewatch the series? Oh, that's it. Yes. Here, one sub. Thanks for the two months, Charlie. Appreciate it. Right, we are about to launch a classic Jean Rouen offensive. It was the second series I've seen from you, the first was the Venice series. Yeah. Depending on when you find the channel, people have a different viewing order of the series. A lot of people will have watched the American Bloodbath long before they watched the Venice series because it came out like two years before it, in real time. But if people found the channel during the Venice series, they watch that and then they go back to the backlog. And realize, oh, this is pretty good too. 
I'm sure, because the series are, are all very good, as we all know. Watch Northern Rage Quit, that was a great hook. That is a, a classic independent story, a Victoria Tooth story. Fort Hudon. This attack has been a bit rough here, we got a bad roll, but we're going to brute force our way through. The Belgians don't know how to reinforce a battle. We just oh we're getting a bad roll, but we just we're doing well because we outnumber him better, better composition. I think Russia HFM was the first I saw DOD Russia's most memorable Moscow scenes. And you're talking about really old days. Oh, we can build some troops. Build them. Build them. Ah, oh, the annoying song in the playlist is on. Oh. Follow up. That is an instant follow up. No questions. Actually, wait, 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 wait. We're going to get there first. Don't do it. Yeah, pull back. Give them a day or two. We need to use the three attack. I mean, I can't remember anything about the Russia HFM series. That's like really old days before I could get a really good multiplayer group that I could reliably play amazing, good, amazing campaigns with. I think it was a, it was all right though. I can't remember anything about it. I remember there was an HFM series that I fucking lost the footage for. PPR was good. It's when you sounded late me a drowning dog. What? We're getting rough rolls. Autocorrect. Turn, turn autocorrect off. I used to watch Green Force, another similar single player. Your edited MP video was insane high quality to me at the time. So you're saying it's not high quality anymore? Well, I'm, you're, you're banned. Oh, following up on that will be a rough attack, but I'm going all in. This is a Jean Rouen classic. We're going all out, all in on them. It's funny how all out and all in mean the same thing. Isn't that weird? All right, this is the battle that will decide the war, and uh, we're looking at hopefully just winning through overwhelming numbers. We're going all in or all out. They mean the same thing. Uh, here we go. We're doing favorable casualties. We're going to break them here. The whole army. We got a really good roll. Yes, I think we win. It was when I sounded like a German dog. Old microphone. Oh, the roll! Oh, no! Oof. A on crossing the Ohio. It was a daring move to cross the river and try and get across here. We're taking really bad casualties, but we will win. The, the Renos are mustering more troops. Oh, oh! Ruon has turned it around! He's gone round the left flank in a genius move, forcing them to retreat. They're moving back to Fort Clara. We forced them, somehow, back across the same river we came across in the first place. I don't know how the fuck that happens when you think of how battles work. I mean, they're sitting at the opposite side of a river. We attack across that river, and somehow the enemy ends up retreating back the way we came. How does that happen? And that's, a, that's a, I suppose that's why uh, retreating behind lines is banned, because it's fucking uh, Im implausible. The Korean Wars is based. Yeah, the Korean Wars was a good series. Come on. I like that series. I think it had a good plot. Like, it, yeah, it had a, I think the Korean Wars was good plot-wise because it started off with, ah, we lost. We lost Korea as Japan. Spoiler alert. We lost Korea and then the rest of the series is about how we get that back, I think, if I remember correctly. And still not wiped, follow up, back to Arlette again. Now you, you're a replenished stack. Unoccupy my land. We have a JP series. Yeah, go and look up the, the Korean Wars, my series in Victoria 2 as Japan. I will say there, there was a lot of things about that series in, the edit, in terms of editing that I don't like. 
how the music is too loud or quiet at any given time because I didn't learn how to increase or decrease the volume of music depending on what was happening. I didn't learn that yet. Wait, they moved to Fort, Fort Podom. Oh. We wiped that stack. Excellent work. The burning of Washington was in that timeline. Yeah, it was an independent story and it took place within the timeline of Korean Wars. It's actually in the playlist, if I remember correctly. We can speed to it now. We'll gain a decisive victory, but the damage to my soldier pops is immense, and the uh, Belgians will actually be able to rebuild troops slowly. That's the wipe. That's the wipe. They're down to uh, three brigades. Basically just what they're rebuilding at home. We're going to wipe one of them. So now we have the slow process of unoccupying and then occupying them, so we'll take our time. Well, I mean, we'll put it on speed three. Uh, yeah, I guess another good thing about the Korean Wars is the episode lengths are consolidated nicely into 10 minute segments or whatever. I don't do that nowadays. I'd like to actually return to something more like that, though. Might make me be able to go back to a weekly schedule if I keep the episodes shorter, but we'll see. Right, unoccupy this, unoccupy that. Um, hey, that happened to me as well. The same thing happened. Aragon is getting the Parthenopia Rebellion. Good times. Good memories. Oh, the Belgians have put 6k uh, there. I think we can deal with that. Uh, the Conservatives, limited citizenship. None of them are offering that. Reform wealth voting, please. That's a big boost to immigrant attraction. Yes. Cheeky Belgians. Have we met the football quarter today? Oh, we've had loads of subs, so we've met it in that sense. We have to do something. Uh, militancy. That's what we do. We talked about football a little bit. Uh, someone's team was not winning since fucking 10 year, 11 years or something. Crazy times. Now we're moving into Belgian territory for the first time in the war, taking the fight to them. The football tag will continue to be there until further notice. The stream has a side topic of football. For any football fans, this is your space to uh, talk about football. Yeah, it's all about you. Laissez-faire for the Conservative Party. Laissez-faire is going really well for me. Maybe building like two railroads every five years. Really good rate of railroad building we've got here. Bold to assume that Vicky2 players follow sports? Listen mate, loads of people were talking about American sports at the start of the stream. In fact, it was a massive topic. Very controversial. Channel blows up to be the biggest football chat room in the world while Spud plays Victor as a background. You know what? I wouldn't object too much to that. Bavaria. Even if we succeed, the Jagiellions will not be pleased. The formation of a nationalist state. The plight of Germany demands action. We'll be, be seeing a German formation here happening before fucking 1900 when it happened in the Aragon. So it was one again. Good. Oh, oh, wait. Ching Chu joined me the whole time. I didn't even know. I had Ching Chu on my side. The loyal, the loyal American bloodbath ally. And they just shipped troops round. Oh, 
I need to save the transport. Oh my god. Wow. The plot twists in this campaign. Oh, the Belgians are rebuilding a fucking sack. Get Zhong on. Get Zhong on up there. He will attack them. They're building up. I hate how the AI fucking does this. Mildly annoying is what it is. Just get Zhong on on it. Fucking hit them. Ching Chu. Ching Chu. We did it again. The loyal ally to the very end every time. They've got the battle war score. They're minus. They they're ticking minus sixteen percent, and I'm ticking up. So we've won this war. It's just decided. No, I'm not attacking forest mountains. Sorry, not doing it. Does loyal until the end mean until you get the cores on all their land? Never. No, nope. never doing it. Or will I? Hmm. Who knows? They're occupying land for me, the legends. Land that they somehow randomly stole from me. I'm going to enforce a really big treaty on them. I don't have any infamy. I'm, I have infamy to spare. I'm enforcing the fattest treaty you've ever seen on their asses. I'm enforcing a 24 infamy treaty. Full annexation. And I'm demanding no less. I don't know if I want to form an Arcadian Empire here. I mean, maybe I will. I probably will. I don't know, because it'll probably unlock more events and decisions, but... I, 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 something appeals to me about the idea of Plantagenia maxing and keeping that. But it's probably just not viable. Uh, and, you know, being the frontiersman, the cowboy king... You know, whatever the event chains do, I actually really support this king. The cowboy. I like that. I want to keep him around if I can. This war is over. Surrender. Belgian cells. Ching Chu is occupying really fast. They're doing me a good favour down there. The Arcadian War. And you know what's next? Fucking scrailing our territory. Oh, they've been fully sphered by Scandinavia. You know, I'm, I'm tempted to go for it anyway. I'm tempted to really just go all in on that. If Scandinavia sends one individual stack, I'll go and wipe it. With a classic Jean Rouen attack. Look at the supply limit. I'm not moving in there. Look how fast these bastards move away. And that's it. Victory, ladies and gentlemen. Stay mobilised, because uh, we have something coming up next to do with this uh, other country here. Maybe. Keep the troops in their borders. Uh, just move them through. Exile. Get them around to the other border here. They literally stole that land. Give it the fuck back. Let me get my peacetime events. Get me all my land. Full claims. 25 infamy. What was the treaty? It's going to be decided by events momentarily. That's how it works in this, uh, this mod.
God really did save the South. The mighty Armée Royale, led by Jean Rouen, has shattered our enemies. Despite the efforts of the Belgians to launch a Louisiana partisan offensive in tandem with their invasion, neither effort brought them success. The Belgians were not only forced out of their own lands, but suffered a defeat after defeat after defeat as we marched through the Confederacy. Facing further humiliation, their stadtholder agreed to peace. The resulting treaty has seen VRC restored to us and the Belgians have been forced to forsake any future attempts to lay claim to any part of Louisiana. Furthermore, all assistance to Louisiana nationalists by Belgians has ended. Some are bitter that we did not make further gains. Well, I, I am. But if the reports of mass protests in Nouvelle Bruges are anything to go by, then our victory may have irreversibly fractured the foundation of the Belgian Confederacy. Boom. Oh, e extend it. Extend the slavery. Okay. Ah, now we here we go. So I got the land back, and I also got the new province of VRC, which I had, had that claim on. And I can't build any troops there. Nice. Can't build any new troops. Now, a Jesuit insurrection in the north. Let's click that. This is me going after this country. Hopefully it means I can go to war with it without going to war with Scandinavia. Maybe. Just maybe. Nice factories I've got going here. I'm getting some immigrants back, but not quite as much as Vinland. What happened to that alliance? Give me that alliance back. Come on. Build some more troops. Ah! A struggle in the council. Oh, what is it? Oh, shit. This is what my Jesuit thing did, I think. Um, Southwestern Lake Federation. This new thing becomes a puppet. Ah. So, it's tempting to take this opportunity to get to fund investment. Something to do with the future of Skirling. Boom. So I just gained this thing as a puppet. I took that from the Skrelinger. Something happened with Bohemia. And I don't know what it is because nothing's changed on the map. Southern Algonquin. Is that all I get from that? Is that all I get from that? Claim the upper Mississippi. Maybe. That's what I need to do to get the cores. Um... Ah, uh, German immigration? Oh. Germans have been immigrating to our nation for some time, but now they're coming unprecedented numbers of port cities. This is historical. I mean, the German immigration to America. Uh, try and maintain that alliance. Oh, the, the fucking relations have gone down to 200 for no reason. It was probably on one of the events here. Oh! The Belgian Confederacy has actually fallen apart. It's been balkanized. That's quite legendary. It's now called the Septiman Directorate. They've had a coup d'etat or something. I take this down separately. Ooh. Maybe. So there's Germans emigrating in. That's happening too. Good. Oh my god, they're all seceding. That, that's crazy. The Belgians is absolutely falling apart. Oh, but the Belgians has actually decked war to try and get them back. Oh shit. Can I ally any of these? Can I ally this one? Come on. Get protected. They will accept, so I can ally some to try and prevent the Belgians going back in on them. I'm number 8, so I could try sphering them when I'm in great power. Otherwise, the Belgians will just probably be able to re-annex them quite easily. So I'm going to try and get in there and ally them. Oh, reform time. I think we're going immigrant attraction plus 30. I think that's where the immigration might start ramping up. Surely. Yeah, we're clawing it back. Yes. 
German immigration. Even Ching Chu, my actual loyal ally, unlike Vinland, is getting some. Oh, Cherokee reactionaries. Reno, no. No, Reno. Diplo fucking points. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to change my national value. Oh, I, yeah, only after ideological thought. Okay. Later. I'll call the stream in like half an hour or so, by the way. Probably something like that. Just to keep you all updated. Maybe the king will be able to get up to something now that his new era of peace has begun. Uh, if you know what I mean. Maybe head out onto the plains there. Pick up a local native woman. You know. Win some canned food for the lads. We're counting on him. I don't think there's much point staying mobilised now, actually. Not that I have many... Well, I have a bit more, so... I have, I have more mobilisation now than I did before the war. Diplo points. Fucking... I, diplo points. Diplo points. Inst the slavery pretends, prevents me getting diplo points. It's over. Doesn't appear like the dual monarchy did anything to Spain in that war, by the way. That war came and went without anything happening. Right. This region has no capitalists, so let's get some. Don't let the Belgians re-annex their shit. Don't do it. Get an alliance with Philippine. No. Accept. 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 Come on. They will accept. Good. We got another one. We allied uh, two of them. Which is not bad. Oh, the, uh, the immigration is through the roof. Look at that. It's through the roof. Where pops, pops are growing by nearly 6k. It's through the roof. Amazing. Those voting reforms, eh? Duplo points are the only mana in Vic 2 and they suck ass. I'd have to agree with that. I can't find any disagreement there. Don't really... Maybe something limiting the amount of diplomacy you can do, something maybe, I don't know, but... They really don't serve any purpose. I mean, some multiplayer mods I play just turn them off. Well, maybe they don't turn them off, but they allow you to do diplomatic actions without any cooldown. Manchurian Empire. Nice lot. Belgians doesn't even seem to be able to take down Baz Valoisie, well, they are actually besieging. Ah, Baz Valoisie has an equal brigade count to the Belgians. I wonder if they can actually hold them off. By the way, this one here has Afro Arcadian pops. I don't accept them yet, but. Well, this one has them too. Maybe I could take Haute Valoisie. Maybe I could come in and cheekily grab that. There's no conquest though. Uh... And the other one here, Bas Valoisie. Like, why not? Yeah, my relations are too high. I can ally them. Will you call me in? I can give them war subs. I have Diplo points.
By the way everyone, just to reiterate, I will continue this campaign tomorrow, at the same time, around 6pm my time. I'm going straight back into it two days in a row. And then, after that, maybe Tuesday. Oh, I'm a great power, look at that. I'm going to sphere all of the Belgian Confederacy thingies. I am not letting you get a single fucking foothold back in all your old land. Keep them balkanized. Spear, 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 spear them all. And I'll put a point in my puppets as well. And a point in Ching Chu. They're already being speared. Not Vinland. Uh, my ally down here can get a point because I'm my ally. Grand Columbia will just be an enemy that I kill. Thank you, Welsh Stalker. Glad to have you here. Are you playing any other games in your free time? Not right now, no. Infamy tax immigration in this modifier recall. Oh, I see. Well, I'm not using infamy for anything right now. I'm, I'm playing a very, uh, playing a peaceful run. I'm playing a Victoria 3 run here. Most peaceful era in human history. Confirmed. New Granada, where's a point there now? Capitalist doing anything? I'm getting more capitalists. Okay, that's good. I'm getting a lot more. I'm investing a lot more. And you know what? They can have lower taxes. I don't know if that shit actually works, but I'm doing it just to make sure. I don't actually need to spear Protector at Selegi because I can annex them with a decision without spearing them. No! Oh, the Belgians are crushing that one. They're crushing that little country. Okay. I'll let you have that one back, Belgians, but you're not allowed to attack any more of them. Okay. They don't even have cores! And any others. The absolute state of the Belgians right now. If I could get an alliance with Philippine. Hmm. Okay. When I get ideological thought, I change my national value to something really good that might Play, it might fit the play style better. It might be giving me immigration or something. This one's just not really good. Nah, reform desire. Literacy impact. That's a re that's a, just an actively bad national value. Research points modifier minus 10. That's just shit. I don't know if there's going to be an event to change it or something, but I am changing that manually right now. We are changing that. It's really bad. Right, where are you? Change national value. Okay. Uh huh. Do I have any I can change to? Uh. Oh, I need to meet certain things to get them. Fuck. Oh. Oh, productivity. Oh. Oh, I can't do it until like revolution and counter revolution. Okay, that's annoying. That's a bit late game before I can even do that. Come on, chat. You, you've been doing well throughout the stream, chat, but it's now completely dead. We can do better than this. So, uh, what text? Uh, early railroad gets me some colonization decisions. Attack something. Uh, what do what do I attack? What? Uh, I don't know what to attack in this game because uh, in fucking DoD fanfox, I don't know what I'm gonna get events for anyway. Why would I attack something if I get an event for it? Like in a month. Because I just don't know. I can't attack Haute Valoisie because uh, it's got two states. I can either do Acquire Capital, which is way too much infamy and time taken for what it is, and I can't acquire a little enclave there. Um. Philippine has actually allied two other countries in the Belgians. Uh, this one, Skrilling Council is a Spherling and ally of Scandinavia. So that just leaves Grand Colombia. I left for an hour. Is Jordan Plantagenia still a relevant joke? Not right now, but it could definitely come back. Add the Sphere CB on, folks. I could attack Grand Colombia, but 
They're very strong, actually. They, they have a big mobilization. I could call in Ching Chu. Take the Bahia region and maybe something else. But I swear I can get cores on this anyway later. I fucking swear to God you can do that. I've seen it. So really, what's the point of any Cassus Bellies on anything right now? Unless I go for colonies, which really doesn't match lore-wise. And it's not something I care to do because I just want to max the land I have here. That basically answers your question about whether I'm going to just blindly paint the map, and the answer is no. I'm actually playing... Just letting the event chains take me on a journey. The Warsaw Conspiracy. And just going with the flow, basically. If you object to that, how do you get Florida? An event? I mean, decision? You just need a couple of techs, and I can get that. It's down here. Rialta. Rialto. Steel Railroad. And mission to civilize, which is in state and government, or fucking breach loaded rifles. I don't know. They change them around, but it's in one of those things. Can you do triple monarchy in this? Well, what's that? Any independence in the Caribbean? No, no, no. No such thing. The immigration is very good, so... Oh, it's, it's max. Well, there's a lot of immigration worldwide. Oh, even Spain... Provence? Oh, Provence. Zorau has formed. Early. Unite with your old masters and dual monarchy and become the triple monarchy. I haven't heard anything about it. What's this? Second Belgian civil war against the Septiman Directorate. So the Belgians actually attacked Caroline. Sweet Caroline. And they, they took out that one. So why is the Belgians stupid enough to do this? I'm just joining. It's the second uh, Arcadian War, apparently. This isn't event fired, so it might fuck up events later, but... I specifically allied these countries to prevent the Belgians expanding into them and the Belgians has just decked war and tried to expand into them so I have to join. So I'm going in. Did they get more cores? Yeah, the Belgians are actually getting their cores back on these countries about like one point, one by one. Let's prevent them from building back up again. And maybe I will take Bas Valoisie off them in this war. Maybe I will do a little bit of map painting. A little bit of actually using it for me here. Okay, are you fucking happy now? Are you fucking happy? Are you glad that I'm actually using some a bit of it for me and making a move? We're going in this time. Would make a puppet well it would be really awkward considering all the different countries that exist here i wouldn't be getting much value for infamy for puppeting it in that state that it's currently in like really neutered but uh, belgian confederacy oh god cherokee reaction oh no this Cherokee Puppet is just becoming a liability now that keeps getting rebellions. There's a, a really genuine uh, need to actually annex this shit. But I have to wait a long time. Um, 1860 and state and government. Or 1865. I mean, they're really a liability. Their army got wiped and they're unable to rebuild it. And now they're just getting rebels. Yeah, maybe, 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 Taco Man, but I'm just going to leave them to their own devices, their own devices, you know, whatever. I'm just going to pick away land. Okay, universal voting. Universal voting isn't really the LARP of Plantaginia here with the fucking planters, but the amount of immigrant attraction it gives is huge, which apparently I'm not getting any right now. Come on, 
Thank you very much, Angeva, for the tier one sub, which is a very appropriate name right now. Appreciate it. Come on, industry, make some fucking money. Right, tell you what, after this war is where I'm going to call this stream, I think. Still no word from uh, Louis the First about his uh, escapades. No, no news from him. Don't know what he's up to. I don't know if he's getting any action out on the planes. I haven't heard. You know, I have a lot of money. So... I'll build some forts. Why not? Money issues are not a problem here. Well, the Belgians are about to annex Philippine, unfortunately. They've lost. Where's Jean Roy? He's out here leading the way. Good. The fucking Belgians can still bring out quite a formidable army compared to their size. Maybe revanchism does something. But they don't actually have that many cores. I don't know. What's their pop? Nearly a million? Hmm. I will actually need my whole army to deal with this shit. The, the Belgian army is stronger now than it was in some of the later parts of the actual war where they were at their fullest fucking might. Do not come and attack me, Belgians, because my fucking attack general is leading the way here. Don't do it. It would be a bad move. Okay, they're going round through neutral. They're going round through neutral territory instead. No, they are attacking, but from neutral. Uh, nice move. Can I prevent that? Yeah. Go and move somewhere else. Oh, is it gonna be? It's gonna be one of these fucking ugh, Sisyphus moments here, where we just infinitely bait him. Uh, well, what do we do here? I think I'm gonna keep baiting him, and then when I occupy that, I'm gonna actually attack with Jean Rouen and put my whole army in. Very awkward movements here. Okay, he's moving around instead. Good. No, he's, he's attacking again. AI moment. This is a very strong AI moment right now. Alright, we're going to go in and just attack them. Eighth of May, seventh of May. Fuck, he's getting away. Forested farmland. We can attack that. But he'll start attacking me again, won't he? Now that fuck's sake, the AI in this game. Oh. Oh dear. Right, let them move round to Torstad. That's fine. Uh, the fucking military access bullshit happened again. Okay. Minus one defense. Right, we're going to... Jean Rouen, take a, a moment away, and we're going to go and get the uh, two defence. He'll lead this one. 15th, I'll move them in. It'll be a good defensive battle this time. 
I have to suffer a minus one defense briefly until the rest of the boys arrive, but our role has uh, softened that. Now they're in with the two, and they got a bad roll, so I'm absolutely crushing it. AI moment, total Belgian death, skill issue, plus cope, plus L. It's American bloodbath after all. Wiped. Not quite. Right. I, I can't follow up because he's fucking retreating to fucking neutral, and I fucking I get military access from that fucking country, and then it gets the fucking event, this automated event that revokes the mill access for no reason. Positive relations. This country has clear fucking interest in giving me the access, but it revokes it. So, fuck off. Something, something, fuck off. Bullshit. At least let me move around here before you revoke it this time. Here's Waldwiese. A, a great battle happened here, although I think it might be a, a difference. There's a different province shape and stuff here. What is this move by the Belgians around here? Fuck off. Give me Jean Rouen for an attack. It's a mountain, but I'm attacking him anyway. No, they're moving away. Ah, fuck you. Fuck yous. Fuck it. Where's the AI going now? I really need to go and prevent them from actually annexing Carolina. That's what I'm fighting this war for. But I will add a ticker on Bas Valoisie. And I can use the infamy now, which means it'll start ticking down. The sooner I add it, the better. Immigrant attraction minus 55. That is a lot. It, re it really does incentivize you to not use any infamy as the Americas. Damn. Well, I'm just going to take that one province and then, you know, take it from there. I'm not going to go all out on infamy. But even 11 infamy lowering the fucking reduction of the immigrant attraction that much. Jesus. Okay. Move in. Move the boys in. They're actually committing to this attack across the river. No, they stopped. I still have access. Good. Good, good. Is there anyone in this fucking chat right now? Jesus, there's 113 of you. just weird. You've got a streamer here who actually talks to his chat and answers almost everything they say. Almost. Not quite everything. I ignore some things. And you won't even talk. Unprecedented levels of uh, interactivity from this streamer and you don't even use it. I'm playing Victor alongside. No! You must actively watch this is your only entertainment right now. You are not allowed any secondary entertainment. You must all actively watch, participate and comment intensively on what's happening in the chat. And donate constantly. Uh, so, that's, your, that's the rules. Did you not read the rules down in the, uh, the tabs below in, in the stream? I will put up the speed 3 though. I will do that. Drought event, fighting a revolt, playing CK2, oh, have fun. Hope Valve was Z, which one's that? This one. I'm about to start getting my first spheres as part of the junior here. Maybe that'll improve my industry and shit. Oh, the unemployment. Oh, the lack of capitalists. Oh, it's so bad. Burn Belgium to the ground. Messi sucks. You really just destroyed the poor Belgians. True. Yep. I destroyed them and then they attacked my ally to get destroyed again. 
They brought it upon themselves. That artillery factory and that fabric factory that both were there early game and then got closed, they're still there. The remnants hasn't been deleted just to taunt me with that, like imagining what an industry is like. I think that's it actually. I think we're now able to peace out. Wait, no, the Caroline actually wants to enforce a treaty, but how much war score is that? Mm. Sorry, Caroline, I'm just taking what I get. And you're lucky to survive, Caroline. The Belgians, uh, I'm extending slavery. The Belgians, yeah, I'm enslaving. But I'm going to do it in a twist of events here. I'm enslaving the Septiman Pops, not the Afro-Arcadians. That's who I'm enslaving here. I didn't mobilise for that war, by the way. Pointing that out, I won on pure skill alone. Right, now that's out of the way. We've done that. Excellent work. We gained a new region, cocked the Belgians more, prevented them getting any of these other bordering states that broke away from them. Don't attack Haute Valwasi. Well, I'm friendly, so I could intervene. They all accept an alliance. Now the Belgian Confederacy is completely cucked. Wait, what? Hey, wait, wait, what? How do they fucking get Caroline anyway? What the fuck? I just fought a war to defend them. And I successfully won that and they still get it. Do they just willingly join the Belgian Confederacy? Their decision or something? At least I can keep the other two alive, right? Come on. Fuck that. It isn't fair. It's unjust and fair. Because I didn't take the treaty, probably. But here's me in my naive understanding of Victoria 2 thinking that a white peace would lead to, you know, white peace. Treaty would have been over war score anyway. Right, I'm, I'm tired. Uh, we're finished. I've done all I need to do here. That's been a very eventful session. One, we've gone a long distance into the game. 1849, 1st of January. Immigration? It's going fine. Could be better. But the, the infamy thing is ruining it. Alright, so that's that. Thank you so much everyone for watching part one of this Plantagenia Divergences of Darkness rework campaign. It's been a blast so far. Had a great, had great fun. Looking forward to picking up on this tomorrow. I'm coming right back. Two streams in a row back to back. What else would you rather do for two of your weekends in the evening? What else is there to do in life? Nothing. You've got to either stream or watch a stream. That's it. Don't go out. Stay in. Watch your spud gun. But yeah, I appreciate the viewership. I appreciate the subs. The donation. The modding from the doge. I must end the bet, uh, actually. I think it's a reasonable time to end it at the end of the stream. It's been plenty of time. Nothing actually came of uh, King Louis the First and his event chain yet. It might happen next session. I'm sorry to the people who voted for that, but we've got to end the event and it didn't happen, so. The Doge, can you actually call that for... Oh! Can you call that for the, the King not getting a mistress? A native mistress, it did not happen. A King Louis L. Look at this Tatar Khanate, by the way. Holy shit. Partially westernized. 4.5 million pops. Slightly more cores. That is something to watch out for. Maybe a future playthrough down there. Maybe Crimea. I heard Crimea has the flavour. It might have been Crimea that formed this. What's their capital? Yeah, Crimea. I think Crimea did that. The primary culture is Crimean. Highly suggested that Crimea did this. Uh, yeah, it's a no guy horde. Did you call the channel point prediction? Is that it? Thank you, Ladoge. Okay, first of all, 
join my Discord for a great community, check out DoD Fanfork with the exclamation mark mod command, check out my Patreon. The next Bavaria episode will be in one to two weeks. I have a community post to do tomorrow to decide something about another video. I'll do that tomorrow, before my stream, I guess. Uh, the VOD for this... There's no point. There's literally no point in me announcing when the VOD for this will be up, because either you've watched this stream live, in which case you probably won't watch the VOD, or if you do watch the VOD, by the time you're listening to this, you've already watched it for three fucking hours and 42 minutes. So I won't announce when the VOD will be up, but in case you do want to, in case you wonder in general when the VOD will be up, it'll be up tomorrow, before the next stream. It'll be up tomorrow morning. Okay. Thank you that Moth Prophet. I hope you had a good day at work. Thanks everyone. Absolute joy to stream today for you. It was great fun. Uh, how's your football team doing? Great. Football chat. Sorted. That's your Saturday Night Entertainment. Thanks everyone. Anything else to announce? Yeah, that's about it. I said all we need to say today. Yeah. And check out the Open Vic project. Join the community Discord for that. We'll have announcements soon because we're having a good dev cycle thingy. It'll be good. Progress is being made on that. For the record, I just want to say, I haven't talked about Open Vic much on the channel for a while because they're just plodding along, getting stuff done. Like, it's going to be such a long project that aren't going to be flashy, amazing new developments to talk about every month. It's a long project, but it's still going. I want everyone to know that it's still going. And there might actually be something to update you on maybe in September. So just a quick update on that. So thanks, everyone. Goodbye.